I'm so excited to tell you about Yarn Lane's Mystery Christmas Crochet Along, or CAL for short. Whether you're a crochet beginner or more experienced, you are going to love this project. As it builds each week into a beautiful, traditional Christmas blanket. But, now this is the mystery part. To keep you guessing, and to make it fun, we're going to keep the finished design a secret. So you'll only know what the finished blanket looks like at the very end when you add the border. We have set up a special members only Facebook group where we'll be posting the next set of instructions each week and you can ask me and Wendy Orlando, our star designer, any questions. It's going to be such a great community. So head to www.yarnlane.com for more details of how it all works and to buy your kit to join in with the Christmas cow fun. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance, so I made the world's smallest apron, and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say, don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown, or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and. I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Good morning, good morning everybody. Welcome to Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hillard. How are you today? Uh, wonderful to have your company with us here. I'm doing well already this morning. I've already managed to pick about three pieces of thread off my clothes. So I'm definitely in a sewing mood. What about you? Have you already started sewing something this morning? Are you midway through a project? What are you working on? I would really love to see what you're working on at the moment. So do please email in and show me what you're working on right now. What's on your sewing table? You're doing a bit of hand sewing. Uh, we've got an early bird special, which you are very much going to be interested in, particularly on those winter nights coming up ahead. But we've got a wonderful, wonderful day coming up. And um, so I hope you're going to join us and stay with us for the whole, whole morning here on Sewing Street. Now, let's get straight into that early bird. We've got a wonderful, wonderful early bird today. Now then, look at this. We've got a hands-free LED magnifier. Now, I don't know about you, but I really do now struggle with things like cross-stitch, crochet, knitting, particularly when the light isn't brilliant to see everything really clearly. So a hands-free LED magnifier is an absolute boon. 
So you can still sit in comfort on your sofa, in your armchair, on the bus going into work in the morning. Um, and you can sit in comfort, it's totally portable, and then you're getting magnification, but you're also getting extra light. And it's that combination of the two that's gonna allow you to see your work more clearly. And then also just enjoy the process. So you can stitch a little faster, you can stitch a little neater as well. Things like cross stitch on Ada, I'm struggling with that now, um, without a magnifier and a light, but with it, I feel like my eyes are 20 years old again. I can see things really clearly. Now, let's have a look at something very, very similar that we found on the internet. Here we go, pure light, two in one, LED hands-free magnifier. So, just like ours, 14, oh, it's been reduced. That's a good price, isn't it? Normally 19 99 and the price today, 14 99 saving a fiver. Brill. So you've got there, yeah, magnifier. You've got an extra magnification as well in here, just like ours. You've got your lanyard as well. And these little rubber feet here that sit against, against your body. $14.99, very good price that. Very good price. What price are we doing it for? Let's have a look. Oh, that's a bit more like it, isn't it? $9.99, yep, like that. 9.99 but this is an early bird special so i would hang about <laughs> 9.99 though when you compare it with that price 19.99 let's just have a little try on and let me show you how how it works so basically you're going to wear it around your neck um, and then those little rubber feet of course this is adjustable so you can have it higher or lower depending on what you're doing and then you've also got extra light so there's a little clip at the front right here okay just on and off right here and then when that's on you've got these really powerful led lights here that are going to illuminate now these don't get hot they're not going to create a little hot patch on your tummy which is worth knowing isn't it um, or make your hands hot or sweaty but what they are going to do is provide some extra night now look at that magnification so if we've got, maybe maybe this is just for reading. Maybe this is just for reading. All right, but also threading your needles too. Maybe it's things like doing your cross stitch, doing your embroidery. Now, 9.99, brilliant price. We've already established that's half what you could pay for that. But it's a price crash. Come on. There we go. Get it down. Come on. Get it down to only today, remember, six ninety nine. Wow, amazing. Six pound ninety nine pence. What well, brilliant, brilliant gift to yourself and superb present to buy as well. Look at that. And it's really comfortable sitting there on my tummy. Thanks for that, Elliot. <laughs> Could have had a bit of warning there, I'd have pulled my tummy in. But you know, it is his and hers, isn't it? So buy two, buy three. Yeah, great giftable. Also, this is brilliant for things like if you want to do some reading in bed and the lighting's really soft and low, maybe maybe your other half, maybe your other half is sleeping next to you and you want the lights really low and it's not really good enough for reading. A bit of extra light, a bit of extra magnification and then suddenly you can read in bed, you're getting that extra magnification as well absolutely fab now it's 395 pmp but remember once you've paid that that's it for the rest of the day you're only going to pay one pmp uh, it doesn't make any difference whether you're purchasing from what you can see on tv or whether you're on the website shop the whole website it's just one pmp for the whole day and of course it also includes anything from yarn lane too so um they're absolutely brilliant deal this this morning isn't it absolutely superb let me just show you if you want to adjust it there's a little adjustable um here so we can just make it longer so if we need to extend that a little bit make it a little bit more comfortable a little bit closer to our work as well very very simple to do now i must tell you more than half of the stock has gone a lot of you are really snapping this up this morning it's a brilliant early bird 
absolutely superb. Look how well that sits on my tummy. <laughs> and do you know what? It, I can barely feel it around my neck. It is really lightweight. It is really lightweight and sits very comfortably. Now, it's powered by three um, AAA batteries. They're not included, so you'll need to get yourself some AAA batteries. But you know, the great thing about LED lights is they use very, very little power and they have such a long life, such a long life. Superb. Uh, now, if all of you check out who've got this wonderful hands-free LED magnifier in your shopping basket, if you all check out, we won't have enough, um, which is not a great situation to be in. So, you know what I'm going to say, check out your basket. Remember, it doesn't, don't hold on thinking you might want something later on um, this morning, in the hour or in the whole morning, because you're only going to pay that one PMP. It's not going to make any difference at all to your order. So check out your baskets. <laughs> Fab. Super giftable, that. Absolutely super giftable. Now, let's have a look and see what we've got coming up this morning. Now, it's 8 a.m. It's time for Tim Holtz Fabric, one of my favourite free spirit designers. Got some lovely samples to share with you and a really beautiful range, a really beautiful range. It's called Monochrome. These are some cushions I made, one, two and three. <laughs> and also a gorgeous messenger bag that my lovely friend Joan made, part of my design team. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Really smart. And that's Tim Holtz's new -y monochrome. Now at 9 a.m. it's the cat of the month and it's the black cat for Halloween with Cara Ackerman. Look at that fantastic cushion, those eyes watching you. And a beautiful lunch bag as well that you could make as an alternative for your Halloween trick-or-treat lunches. Now Cara's going to be demonstrating how to make these projects, so stick around for her show, won't you? Now then, at 10 o'clock, if you're in the mood for a quilt kit for autumn and winter to keep you going through the winter, we've got quilt kits revisited. We've got 12 absolutely amazing, adorable quilt kits to show you some lovely cave and some from our other favourite designers like Village Fabrics too. Look at that beautiful quilt. Oh, stunning, absolutely stunning. We've only got one of those. We've only got one of those. So if you fancy that quilt, I wouldn't wait the hour. Snap it up. That's a Victoria Carrington. What a beautiful quilt. Now then, at 11 o'clock, it's an, another show with Cara, embroidered cushion cover. These are beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. A bit of slow stitching, a little bit of embroidery in the centre, fun, and then make it up with some quick to piece strip patchwork. That is stunning, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Two different colour options with that one. Cara is going to be showing us how to make that cushion at 11 o'clock. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got a sewing machine hour. So I'm going to be showing you all your favourite sewing machines. We're going to be looking at all the different features, all of the different feet that you get included with each one. Great opportunity. If you're thinking about updating your sewing machine as a little Christmas present, or you're thinking about buying a Christmas present for someone else, a sewing machine for someone else, don't miss the 12 o'clock show. Or if, you just, if you've already bought a sewing machine from us and you want a little bit more in-depth information about the machine that you've bought, tune in at 12 o'clock. I'm going to be going through those machines. Now, let's show you how to get involved with the show this morning. You know I want you involved. Do message in, won't you, to the studio. If you've got any messages, just message the studio, studio at sewingstreet.com. You can send images to us, pictures of what you're working on. You know, if you want to send a longer message or a longer question for our guest, Cara, or for me, if you've got a short comment, then the website's the best way to do it. Yeah, so just go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Go to Watch Live and click on there. And then, can you see there, send a message to the studio. You've got 150 characters, send us a little message. Go on, send us a little message. It's the black two. Come on, come on. It's the black cat to death. Lovely mixture of capitals and lowercase there, Hayley. Beautiful. Where is my red pen when I need it? 
Oh no, I never used a red pen when I was a teacher. It was too aggressive. I used green, green, green ink. Ah, now Willis, and well done if you got the early bird special. It has sold out. I think that's the fastest selling early bird I've ever done. What a brilliant, brilliant deal that was. Now, scroll down on the Watch Now page, you'll see what's coming up. Now you can pre-order anything from there. Look at those lovely Tim Holtz fabrics. I'm gonna be sharing these with you in just a moment. Absolutely beautiful, brilliant stash builders these, but they work so well on their own. We've got some solids. We've even got some Tim Holtz Christmas time fabrics. I will be snapping those up for my own personal stash. And then we've also got some extra wides. So useful these for finishing your quilts. Who wants to piece a backing? Then, coming up later, we've got the lunch bag instructions, we've got the cushion instructions too. Cara's using those for her demos. And also things you'll need, little extra notions. We've got Thermalam, we've got the buttons that you'll need, and some of the fabrics that would be very suitable for making lunch bags with. So get ahead, pre-order those fabrics, those notions, and keep scrolling down for the rest of the day too. You can get ahead. Now then, I think it's time to have a look at those wonderful Tim Holtz fabrics, don't you? Just love. Now Tim Holtz is one of my absolute favorite designers from Free Spirit. And I've been following Tim, um, not obviously, not actually following him, that would be weird and stalkery, um, but following his career ever since he was a paper crafter. Love that mixture of kind of grunge and um, industrial sort of design. I made these three cushions behind you can see, really simple to piece. Um, a, a, a basic square in the centre, a 12, 12 and a half inch cut square in the centre, two and a half inch strips around the outside, just simply pieced around, just to add a bit of visual interest. And then I've hand drawn, you could easily print that number off from the internet or from your, um, a script on your computer. Bond webbed on from, stitched around and then made up into a cushion. Very quick and easy. But it's all about enjoying that fabric, isn't it? the numbers, the letters. Love that background there. It's like a world map. Um, brilliant stuff. It's a neutral background, but it's anything but plain and boring, isn't it? And really good as well if you want to make quilts like for men, you want something that's a bit masculine, you don't want florals, or you just don't like florals, you know, these are great prints. This is a fantastic, look at that background print, sewing instructions, and it's got like stuff from paper patterns on it. I think that's absolutely superb. You could do things like a sewing machine cover or a new bag to take your sewing kit to classes in. Little, now this quill, I think this is absolutely superb shows you how wonderful monochrome looks for a background with a pop of colour. Now I've got some fabrics coming up that I'm going to suggest would work brilliantly for a quilt like this, but there's a little teaser for you. But how good do those backgrounds look? Now there's Joan's bag. Um, if you love that pattern, by the way, that's from my new book, Bags for Life. We're going to have that back on air on Saturday. Um, but it's a lovely, simple messenger bag, quick to make up. And I've just used, two, we've used two fabrics there, solid for the lining. I'll show you how it all goes together. It's nice and easy. Just use, we just use one fabric for the um, flap and then one of the other prints from the range for the front. Love this one covered in butterflies, little uh, pocket on the back. It's gorgeous Free Spirit fabric, of course. And uh, I've worked with Free Spirit for many, many years. Their fabrics are always such wonderful quality. Um, and Free Spirit have a real reputation for working with artists. I think is the best way to describe describe them. Um, rather than purely fabric designers, Free Spirit have a reputation for working with artists, so people who work in mixed media, uh, watercolour artists, painters. I mean, Cave comes very much from a painting background. I've um, got a lovely picture of Tim. Tim's got lovely teeth. Look at those lovely teeth. Lovely hair as well. 
it's jealousy. Um, he's such a nice guy, he's brilliant. And of course, paper crafters know Tim Holtz very, very well from his kind of grunge look. Um, and also, what's the uh, steampunk? Yeah, kind of a steampunk aesthetic as well about lots of his fabrics too. Kind of cogs and wheels, clock faces, things like that. So, now we've got a whole big bundle of Tim Holtz's new fabric range that's available. Now what you're getting here is you're getting 12 half metres six meters in total there's 12 different designs in the range we've thrown one of those in for free so you're only actually paying for 11 half meters there now what a wonderful wonderful collection of neutrals you've got here i don't want you to think of these as blenders okay these are fabrics that work in their own right as the bag and the cushions and those quilts we showed you really demonstrate these are neutrals but they are feature fabrics they are very special and let's have a little look at them uh, this is great I mean if you have somebody who's an engineer in your family or somebody who's into aeroplanes and aviation I just think that is a fantastic print it would be brilliant for something like um, like a bag or an attache case it is just lovely and a wonderful kind of rich uh, kind of greyish cream. How fantastic is that? But let me show you what you're getting in this bundle because you're getting 12 different fabrics. So you're getting those little stars. This is one of my absolute favourites. This is the sewing instructions, which is brilliant. Just love that. Uh, you've got the butterflies. Absolutely superb, absolutely superb, aren't they? I think maybe there's a mixture of moths and butterflies there. This one's your times tables, <laughs> if you need some help with those. Planks of wood. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Kind of uh, printer's lettering. The world map. There's that one that I used for the flap on the messenger bag. This is a terrific print, this one. Oh, love it. Um, and then this one here is a, oh, look at that, look at that. It's fab, isn't it? Almost like shop signs. We can fit short and stout, tall and slim, and extra large men in any style. One, two, three, four, five or six. Note prices regarding extra sizes. Oh, I'm wondering if maybe the bigger and stouter you are. If you're an extra large man, perhaps you pay extra? I don't know. I've never been in that position. <laughs> Absolutely fab. So if you want that entire bundle, and remember that that is all 12 fabrics from the monochrome collection. It's Tim Holtz's new one. You're getting six metres in total. Half a metre of that is free, so you're saving £7.69. pence. Um, that bundle is 84 59 That is a fantastic fantastic price for this Tim Holtz bundle. It is just wonderful. Um, it's such a, I think Tim's take on fabric is so unique. Um, you know, there are, I mean, I think every designer has their own look, but there are a lot of designers who do florals and kind of ditzes and stripes and that kind of thing. Tim Holtz fabric is absolutely, totally out there on its own, isn't it? And I think it's, it's unusual to find the full collection in shops. We are very, very lucky here. We're launching it today, but we're very limited on our quantities. So I would be really quick on this one. Fabulous. Let's have a look at them one by one, shall we? Let's have a look at them one by one. If you wanted to make something like a messenger bag and attache bag, you'd need kind of two, two half metres plus about half a metre for a lining. So that would give you a rough idea. And you could do a solid for the lining or perhaps some more of the smaller prints. But let's have a little look. Um, 
Shout out, by the way, to the Norfolk quilters who I spent the weekend with. We were making messenger bags and attache bags. These prints would be perfect. A few of the people who came along to the workshop were making bags for husbands for Christmas. So if you want a bit more of a masculine look. This one, this is called Model Airplanes. Um, and it's a terrific one. It's kind of really detailed drawings almost like blueprints, aren't they, of different vintage aircraft. It's a fantastic print. You've got kind of different brown tones on a greyish cream background, almost like a little polka dot in the background, but it's very subtle. And it is like a blueprint, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a blueprint of how to create your own aircraft. It's absolutely beautiful. We've only got 10 metres left of this. So um, if you want individuals, this is proving very, very popular. As I say, half a metre um, of two or three different fabrics for a decent sized bag. All right. That is a fantastic one. And I love, you know, I love the words. I mean, I love words on fabric. I love words on quilts as well. And this is great because it has that really masculine feel. It is absolutely at the other end of the scale to the usual florals and ditzes and feminine pretty prints that we have, which are gorgeous and wonderful. But it's really lovely to see something that has a different look, much more graphic. What about lining a waistcoat or the back of a waistcoat? Maybe like a really nice, dark chocolatey brown plaid or check on the front and then this on the back that would be so smart really nice little bit peaky blinders that now then when i was a teacher in birmingham i was very keen i was a primary school teacher and i was very keen on the multiplication tables <laughs> Well, the government were very keen on the multiplication tables as well. It was something very, it was a target. <laughs> and of course, there are lots of generations that just always knew their tables. Now, this is fab, isn't it? 12 times 4 or 48. There we go. 3 times 5 or 15. So it's all there. Got different, there's a lot of 34 on here. It's obviously a special number to Tim. I think Tim's older than 34, so it's not his age, but, um, and I love the graph paper in the background as well. Graph paper fabrics have been so, so popular for the last couple of years. There have been quite a few modern quilting ranges that have had this kind of graph paper in them. But what makes this so special are those multiplication tables, those numbers. It just provides a bit of interest, doesn't it? For a cushion, for a bag, a satchel would be ace in this. Absolutely gorgeous. Book covers, reading pillows. If you want a free pattern for a, a book pillow, a reading pillow, just check out my YouTube channel. I've got a lovely free pattern there. That would work so well with this. And I love as well the fact that it's kind of aged. So it's almost like sort of tea stained or age worn fabric as well. Um, so you've got that look, just creates a lovely antique -y feel. So that one is called Multiplication Table. Should be very neat and tidy and wrap them up. Gorgeous. There we go. Okay, this one. Now this one's an old favourite of mine. What Tim's done with this range is he's pulled some of his um, previous prints and maybe changed the scale a little bit. This was one I used in my very first book, so fabulous. Um, and this one's called Subway, Coney Island Bay and Queens Plaza. Sounds like the kind of place I'd want to go. Look, Times Square and the Met Metropolitan Avenue. <laughs> I went to uh, New York years ago. Charlie took me. It was like a date weekend for my birthday. First year we were together. And we went to New York in early February. And I've never experienced, we've never experienced cold like it. New York at the beginning of <laughs> February. 
is absolutely glacial. It's glacial. And the problem, of course, is, you know, everywhere inside is really nicely heated. So if you're outside, you're all bundled up. We bought really, really good thermal underwear, uh, which was terrific and kept us alive. But of course, you walk into a department store and you're like, <gasps> and then one night we went out, we went out to the um, a fantastic Chinese restaurant and we didn't, well, of course, wear um, thermals and we thought oh, we'll just get a cab home you know we, we stepped outside the restaurant we asked the restaurant first of all if they could call us a cab and they just said oh if you just go out into the street you can hail one so we did that and then it took us about 20 minutes before we saw a cab and in the meantime I'd seen flashing lights and we were so cold so I started waving like this to wave this taxi down and suddenly these blue lights started spinning round and a police car pulled up could you take me to my hotel, please, young man? Um, that went down a storm. So that is um, called Subway. Subway signs, love that. And that's the darkest fabric. Um, there's a couple of really dark ones, but that's the darkest. So really nice for adding a bit of an accent or a bit of a border on something. Now this next one are the butterflies and moths. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is like an engraving, isn't it? From a kind of turn of the century book on butterflies. Uh, Got to give you a stock warning. It's four metres left. Ah, oh, that's the Joan effect. That's what that is. Joan's fabulous bag. It's the Joan effect. Let me just bring that bag in so you can have a little look. Here's that bag that um, Joan, designer Joan made. Really nice. So use that for the front and back and sides and then contrast flap. Really nice. It's anything but neutral, is it? I mean, it is. It's creams and tans and gold and a little bit of charcoal, but it is just absolutely beautiful, beautiful fabric. There's that pocket. That's going to sell out, so we won't spend too long. But of course, you can get all of these fabrics in that mega bundle, don't forget. And you're getting half a metre free. Now then, this one I think is also going to be very, very popular. Because we like our sewing, don't we? <laughs> we do like our sewing. And this is sewing instructions. It's the sewing instructions. This one I think is called tailored linen. Love that. Looks like I've been at it with my eye and it's got these sort of areas that are kind of distressed. There's multi-tones there. I love this ticking stripe in the background. That is really smart. And then it's almost like it's been block printed on top, isn't it? With these sewing instructions and how to finish a buttonhole. I mean, it's great fun. Look at this. Let me show you. Really like this one. Look at that. Now here's a thought. I alluded earlier on to a sewing machine bag or a cover. What about redoing your sewing space using this range? Wouldn't that be fab? So if you've got a drop-in chair or a swivel chair, recover that seat with these sorts of fabrics. Create yourself a sewing machine mat and a cover as well. Absolutely beautiful. You could even multi-buy on this. Do yourself something like a Roman blind. Imagine a Roman blind in this kind of, look at that, yeah? Do you imagine that at the window and then when you let it down? I mean, really, really smart. Nice, nice. Great for men or women. Really nice as a lining for something. Our director, Elliot, just said, this would be great to line a suit with. Totally agree. Inside the jacket would be terrific. Actually, that would make a terrific shirt or blouse, wouldn't it? It would be really smart for clothing. Really smart for clothing. That's the tailored linen. <coughs> Excuse me. Very, very popular, that one. Very popular. Now then, um, another fabric that we used in the um, messenger bag. I like this one very much. This one's called Diamonds. 
and it's got a lovely warm kind of honey tan background nice and warm this i think would be really lovely for smart cushions if you've got quite a neutral sitting room dining room this would be really nice for some smart piped cushions so a cushion in this may be piped with black solid there's only five meters left of this one so if you were thinking about making my messenger bag and using this for the flap um, be quick half a meter would be plenty half a meter of this half a meter of the butterflies um, and then a half meter to line it absolutely fine but be quick with that one because it's proving very very popular lovely and i love as well it's not just one shade of this kind of charcoal -y. it's almost like a chocolate charcoal mix it's kind of blended and it's soft um, it's not one tone throughout he's a clever boy isn't he that tim holtz met him a few years ago at um, in houston such a nice guy but really difficult to get near because everywhere he goes he is just surrounded by people he's got a great personality he's so talented um now then if you loved the um tailored linen i think you'll really enjoy this one too now this one is called is called is called hmm I'm gonna turn it around this one's called sewing instructions I don't think it is sewing instructions is this labels labels oh I'm covered in more thread folks three pieces for um let's try and find W O oh yeah no, it's W O V I two three. Men's fine dress shirts. This is tailored linen. This is tailored linen. What was the one earlier on? Check your order because there'll be an image. Just make sure you've got the right one. Because the other one that had the ticking stripe, hmm. let's just have a look. I'll pull this one out for a second. This is BYU. Yeah, there we go. So this one is called Sewing Instructions. This is Sewing Instructions. He's put it on the fabric for us. <laughs> That is fab, isn't it? That might be my favourite. Which one's yours? Don't forget as well, I was asking earlier on, if you've got any pictures of what you're working on at the moment in your sewing room, maybe you're doing a bit of a sewing room makeover. All of these fabrics, I think, would be so, so suitable for doing that. You'd make a brilliant, beautiful makeover for a sewing room with these fabrics. Brand new from Tim Holtz. We had so much fun in my design studio playing with these, let me tell you. Now then, this one is tailored linen. This is tailored linen. Love this, there's so much on here. Um, you know those, those quilts, those projects that make you go up and look at them in more detail? And, and this I think is why I like words on fabric because it makes you look more closely. No trouble to show goods. Fine line of samples, always on hand. Don't fail to place your order early. <laughs> now, Judy from Norfolk. Okay, part of the Norfolk Quilters Massive. Tim Holtz here. Here is my quilt. <coughs> Excuse me, made of Tim Holtz fabric made a few years ago. Love his designs of fabric. Stuart, so glad to see you on Sewing Street. You're very relaxing. Oh, thanks, Judy. That's really kind. That's a gorgeous quilt. I love it. That lovely mix works really well with the purple and the matching cushion. See, that's what to do with the leftover bits. Make a cushion. Beautiful. These fabrics would work really well for that too, wouldn't they? You don't have to do anything difficult with them. Pinwheels like I've got in the background. Rail fence would look great. You could even do a disappearing nine patch. If you wanted to have a quilt that was just subtle, neutral, but still interesting, um, 
uh, a disappearing nine patch would look ace. Absolutely braille. Now then, lovely, this is the kind of smallest print in the range. Uh, this is the star. Really nice if you wanted a not boring neutral background. Be great to applique on top of this actually. Really nice. It's got a lovely soft mottle in the background and then little tiny golden grey stars. Yeah. So where you want, maybe in a quilt, you would, you might have gone for a tone on tone or a solid. Um, or maybe like a white on white or a cream on cream print. This is just a little bit more interesting. So if you were doing something like some lovely bold applique, maybe floral wreath or something like that, would be gorgeous on here. And also as well, you can't really knock stars at Christmas, can you? Would be very useful to mix in with your Christmas prints, particularly if you're going for a kind of uh, quite traditional look. And don't forget as well mentioning Christmas, there are only... Is it 76 days till Christmas? 75 days till Christmas? <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I don't make these rules up. It's just how it is. Now, this next one, beautiful, beautiful print, this. There are 74 sleeps till Christmas, Haley's just told me, which is quite a scary thought. Now, this one is already half sold out. We've only got five metres left. Now this is Expedition, it's called Expedition and it, in parchment and, and that's a great description of the colour because it is like an old book or an old scroll, um, lovely this. Um, so this one now I'm thinking if you were doing a, a child's bedroom or a nursery this would work really well. Ne um, neutrals, silvers, greys, creams, beiges, really popular for nurseries. This would be very interesting, really cool. You could even frame this couldn't you? You could put this over um, an artist's wooden frame just nice and taut, staple it round the back and that would be great on the wall or cut up into sections. Now, oh, Haley's just had a great idea. You know, like the um, dressmaker's mannequin, and you can get decorative ones, can't you? They aren't really like a fixed shape. You could actually cover a mannequin with this. That would be awesome, really lovely. Also, you know, um, if you had make, maybe making a gift for somebody and there was a particular place in the world that was very special to them, like for me, Hong Kong, for example, you could even frame or little in a little frame, a little box frame and highlights. There's Hong Kong right there. Love Hong Kong. Char Charlie and I first went to Hong Kong years ago because Charlie does business, a lot of business in Hong Kong. So um, we, I started going to Hong Kong with him and I just fell in love with it. It's the most incredible place. It really is. It's so varied. I mean, a lot of people know Hong Kong for the sort of designer shops, which is nice, you know, but there's loads of outlying islands that you can go off and visit. My favourite is Chung Chow. That's going to sell out, that one. Tales of Chung Chow. Oh, I get the most amazing fish and seafood. Wow. Now then, this is very, very lovely. This is called typography. And again, it has that look of, um, you know, a printer's, almost like samples. The, this is the lettering I can do. Um, how will you pick, you know? So I think things like book covers, book bags, reading pillows would be great if you wanted to make a specific project. Maybe make a tote bag for taking books back to the library and have it as your library bag. Again, you've got that wonderful mixture. It's like sort of age, like foxed paper. You know when, when books have been tucked away and you open them up and they've got that foxing, that sort of those brown, almost like blotchy marks around them or on old maps. So it has that look of something aged. 
Maybe you've got somebody in your family who's really into sort of the whole kind of Harry Potter world, witchcraft and wizardry, and you want to make something that looks like an old spell book. This would be great for that too. Selling incredibly well. Don't forget, if you want to get that big mega bundle of 12 half meters, you are getting one of the half meters for free. You can go for that and then get the whole range. That's what I got, and it was so much fun to play with. <laughs> and you know as well, it's one that I know I can draw on all the time in the future. I'll never want to run out of those fabrics. Now this is Ace. I use this on the back of one of the cushions. I'm just going to find it and grab it down. So there we go on number number three. I used I used this fabric for the back of this cushion and this is called wood panel. A lot of homewares about at the moment that have this finish. It's like sort of aged, almost like um sea age do you know like when when um driftwood yeah wood that's been in the sea and bashed around and bleached out and then you've got this effect it is really really smart there's three meters left of this wow you have been quick this morning <laughs> very quick the last one that i've got to show you now again i used this in in my book so fabulous um, and i did a dining room makeover using neutral tim holtz fabrics so i've been a fan for a while the proof is in the book this is called subway numbers and i did chair covers and a table runner placemats napkins all different things for in the dining room and it was just kind of smartly neutral but really interesting and cool because i just think this is fab this would be ace for a bag. Really nice. And it's ageless as well, isn't it? I could absolutely see, you know, a teenager with a bag made out of this, uh, up to any age. But, but definitely, I, I can't see anything about this that a teenager would say, oh, I don't want that. <laughs> how, was, how was that for it to, oh, I don't want that. I don't like it. I don't want to get up. I just want to lie in bed. Isn't that what teenagers say? I've got friends who've got teenagers right now and I hear a lot of that from them. No. No. <laughs> now then, let me just remind you of that mega bundle. Uh, brand new today, Tim Holtz's brand new collection, Monochrome. Lots and lots of you have gone for these uh, very, very limited or sold out individually. But what a fantastic range of fabrics. It's just beautiful. That mixture of numbers, letters, old maps, sewing instructions, tailoring instructions, multiplication tables. It's just this wonderful, wonderful range. Seven pounds and five pence per half meter. If we take out the, you know, the one that you're getting for free, if we account for that, you're paying just a shade over seven pounds for a half meter. Now that is amazing price for free spirit fabric. And Tim Holtz is hard to find. Fabrics that are neutral and good for masculine quilts. Hard to find, hard to find these. So go for these. I think they're absolutely fabulous. Really love those. We won't be getting more when it's gone, I'm afraid. I'm going to put number three up there because one and two together looks a bit unfinished. There we go. Now, we've got a little bit more Tim Holtz. Abandoned two which was Tim's previous range. We've got three fabrics um, that you can buy by the half metre. Uh, Great for quilting, great for dressmaking as well. Now then, this first one we're going to look at is called Indo Theatre. Oh, look at that. Oh, 
We're really limited on these, really limited. This is fab. This is like, I mean, it is like you've gone into an abandoned building and you have found a fragment of um, wallpaper on the wall that's kind of distressed and decayed. I mean, I wouldn't normally say that decayed was a good selling point, but it just looks fantastic. It is so cool and industrial. Now we've got a lovely message from Christine saying, love watching your demos. You give us so many great ideas of what to make with the fabric. I don't know which one to pick, Christina. Christina, you don't have to pick. We've got a mega bundle and you get half a meter free. That's the one I've go have gone for. That's the one I've got. Now another message from Kat. Kath, sorry, loving the show this morning. Tim Holtz fabrics are brilliant. They were perfect for a quilt I made for my son. Loving his latest collection. Kath, I couldn't agree more. It's just so easy to use. And this solves that perennial problem of what to make for the man. A uh, message from Wendy in Merseyside. Saying, good morning, Stuart. Good to see you back and hear your soft voice. Have a good day, Wendy. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Oh, another message from Sue, um, who says, good morning, Stuart. Lovely to see you this morning. What a treat. I'm making a new cover for my V pillow today. That's Sue from Tamworth. Oh, I love a V pillow. I've got, I've got, you know, one of those, it's this one, isn't it? With like the V that you can just, snuggle back in. Beautiful. It's like being hugged, isn't it, in bed. Thank you for that, Sue. Now then, this next one, uh, again, absolutely gorgeous. This is so beautiful. This is called Muted Medallion. Oh, that is great. I mean, they are stunning, stunning fabrics, aren't they? There is nothing that you need to do to that. Just cut it out, make it into a cushion, table runner. I mean, lovely for backing quilts. We've only got six metres. We've only got six metres in total. This would be really gorgeous for a border as well. And remember, these ones are not from the monochrome collection. They would work absolutely brilliant if you were doing something like, say, a rail fence or a sawtooth star quilt using the monochrome collection. This would work beautifully for a border or a backing. The detail in these fabrics is incredible. Absolutely beautiful. It's just layers and layers and layers, isn't there? Right back to the background, which has all these different muted tones that just create this wonderfully aged and distressed look. But your projects will be anything but distressed. Now this last one, we've got so little of it. Is it sold out? It's actually sold out. There's a metre left. There's a metre left, but I mean, you know, grab it. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's just amazing. We'll move on because that's just gone, 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 gone. Now, Tim has done Christmas and I've been waiting for years for Tim to do Christmas because I always thought he'd do a good job of it and he really has. So this is also Tim Holtz. It's a bit different to his normal, but you can see the right elements in there. It's still got that sort of watercolour, hand-painted look to it. It's lovely, this, isn't it? It's from his Christmas time range, and this is called Evergreen Floral. And it's got a mottled black and grey background. And then this wonderful kind of um, really bright toned fur in bright shades of green, chartreuse, moss, and then these wonderful little pine cones, and then red berries, multi-tonal again, and this kind of gray blue and silvery blue pine and uh, flo uh, foliage in the background too. Gorgeous, lovely for things like runners, stuff for your Christmas table, superb. Six ninety nine for a half meter. That is ace. And then this is our last one from Tim Holtz. This one is called Pine Boughs. And again, something like a tree skirt. What about a tree skirt? Would be lovely in this, or a mixture of the two. You could also, of course, combine this, and this would work really, really well 
with a neutral. I mean, how about that for your Christmas table? Just these two fabrics together, placemats, bordered, do some with the centre and a border, centre, border. Mix and match around the table. Some napkins, a runner or a candle centrepiece made out of these two fabrics. Jobs are good. Christmas dinner taken care of. You just bring a turkey. I'll bring everything else. I'm not going to bring everything else. Now we've got some solids that would go really, really well with the um, main collection. Should we have a look at the, the, the solids? Yep. So what we've got here, we've got some solids that would work really, really well with the abandon. We've got pure white. Pure white, that's 349 for a half metre, 112 centimetres wide. So perfect for mixing, making your Tim Holtz just go that little bit further. It's a great way of stretching, but also things like bindings, borders, piping cord for around the outside of cushions, maybe. And also for backing projects, so 349. Next one is our natural seeded. Now, Cara's has used this for her lunch bag, so this would be a great one to shop ahead on. Um, really lovely, this natural seeded cotton fabric. Little bit like a calico. Well, it is a calico, I guess, really, but it's got that um, seeded, natural seeded cotton. Lovely, that. Very, very nice if you like making more kind of vintage looking projects. Or you want a little bit sort of homespun. Now this one's called Elephant Grey and again this would mix really really well with the Tim Holtz uh, uh, monochrome range. Again £3.49 for a half metre, it's 112 centimetres wide and of course if you order two or three units of that they can as, as a continuous length it'll be cut for you. Last of all we've got black. Now this is the black that I used for the numbers on my cushions. So we use the um, the natural seeded to line the uh, messenger bag and then the black I've used for the numbers on my cushions. Now I've got another light grey. Now again this would work really well with the Tilton Holtz range but this is also something that would work very well with Cara's projects. This is light grey. That's sort of classic modern quilter favourite that isn't it, that light grey. And then last of all, this is another 100% cotton fabric. This is called Spot on Grey. Now that's 649 for a half metre. This is brand new today. Again, that would work really well mixed in with Tim Holtz monochrome range. It would also work really nicely. Look how that looks with that gorgeous Christmas fabric. Or with the other one, I mean, it just worked brilliantly together. What about stockings, outside, inside, the cuff, mix and match? Again, it's all about making your fabric shine. You need a bit of neutral, you need a bit of space. Now, I mentioned earlier on that the monochrome range would look absolutely beautiful as a background and then add a little pop of colour. So I wanted to share these with you. We've got a couple of K-Facet design rolls. Let me just show you a quilt that I think would work absolutely beautifully. So in the background you've got 10 inch squares of monochrome to create a background and then big petal shapes um, to create these flowers. Bond webbed, fused and then stitched around. Now I think if you used the K-Facet strip rolls, I would sew two strips together to create a vein down the centre, then cut out your petal shape, centre in the seam, okay? So put your bond web on the back after you've seamed two strips together, then cut out your leaves, and then mix and match those over the, over the surface of the quilt. Down at the bottom there you can see smaller petals, you could use a single, or even cut your um, strip roll down into one and a quarter inch strips and rejoin them to make those smaller leaves. But wouldn't that look fab? Now let me show you those, these two strip rolls. We've got Ocean. This is Ocean. Oh, I do love a design roll. Look at that. All these different unctuous, juicy colours. 
jades and sapphire lilacs mixed in there as well all these multi-tones you're getting 40 strips and they're each two and a half inches wide all designed of course by the k facet studio these are kate's classics and the colorway is ocean 44.99 for those and then we also have a cool oh now this is a bit special these are my greens <laughs> they're not cave so mine uh, this is the cool design roll again you're getting 40 all of these make me very very happy kind of amazonian greens and then through into more deep intense sapphire blues really lovely that so again, as I say, take two of those strip rolls, join them together with a quarter inch seam, press the seam open, okay, press that seam open so you've got a nice flat surface, then iron your bonder web onto the back, and then I would create a template for a, a nice broad petal, draw the centre line in as well, and then line that centre line that you've drawn on your template up with the seam on your two strip rolls and draw around the template, cut out those petals, and then applique them to a monochrome background. You're welcome. <laughs> now, what about some backing fabrics? Mm. We've picked these just because we thought these would go really nicely with the Tim Holtz monochrome range, particularly if you want to back quilts with them. Um, these are from Blank Quilting, um, so a really good quality. We're going to start with this one. This is a beige. It's called Off-White. Off-White. But what you've got in there are those lovely kind of honey tan shades. If I just show you up against the Tim Holtz, you see? I mean, it just works absolutely beautifully uh, with those. Absolutely beautiful. Now, this is extra wide. It's 274 centimetres wide. Now, in terms of, <laughs> there you go, look, really long. This is Hayley, by the way. I look my hair. How are you? Hello. You brushed your hair? <laughs> there you go, look, really, really wide. I think, is this 100 and, is it 108 wide? Yeah, yeah. 108 inches wide, thank you. 274 centimetres, 108 inches. So brilliant if you're making up to queen size. Yeah, up to queen size. And a really, really economical way of backing a quilt, this, because it's twelve ninety nine for half a metre. Now, for a uh, large queen size quilt, you want about two and a half metres. You want about two and a half metres of that. And it's got a lovely, soft kind of, again, sort of almost like a distressed, overlaid, multi-layered polka dot. So it worked very, very well with the Tim Holtz monochrome. So that's in the off-white. Then we've got this one, which is a grey. Now, again, would work really, really well working with the Tim Holtz. Really work well. We will have a look at these again a little bit later at 10. We're going to go to break now because coming up, we've got Cara with a wonderful hour, uh, wonderful projects there coming up. It's our cat of the month. It's nearly Halloween. Spooktacular. Um, and there's that little black cat. So cute, looking a little bit surprised. Have you got a treat for me? Do you want to cuddle? We'll see you after the break. I'm so excited to tell you about Yarn Lane's Mystery Christmas Crochet Along, or CAL for short. Whether you're a crochet beginner or more experienced, you are going to love this project. As it builds each week into a beautiful, traditional Christmas blanket. But, now this is the mystery part. To keep you guessing, and to make it fun, we're going to keep the finished design a secret. So you'll only know what the finished blanket looks like at the very end when you add the border. We have set up a special members only Facebook group where we'll be posting the next set of instructions each week. And you can ask me and Wendy Orlando, our star designer, any questions. It's going to be such a great community. So 
head to www.yarnlane.com for more details of how it all works and to buy your kit to join in with the Christmas Cow Fun. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. And I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Okay, we're back. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Welcome to Tuesday Sewing Quarter. I'm Stuart Hillard. It's great to have your company today. We've just had a cracking hour with Tim Holt, but that is nothing compared with the hour that we've got coming up with Cara Ackerman. Ray! She's in the house. She's in that. Look, there she is. Oh, Hello, Cara. You're Hello. on. You're on, love. You're on. <laughs> Get back on your spot. I'm on my spot. Let's try that again. It's Cara. Hello. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, really good. Love that green. Oh, thank oh, you. Beautiful. Yes, Absolutely thank you. Gorgeous, <laughs> sumptuous. Now, Cara has got a wonderful, wonderful couple of projects to share with us because it is our cat of the month. Much anticipated, much waited for. Absolutely exclusive to Sewing Street. What a corker this month is. It's month three and it's the black cat for Halloween in October. Three of 12. Now, don't forget, if you want to make the whole quilt at the end of it, you do need to collect up each panel. The finished quilt is hanging there behind Cara. We'll have a little look at that in a sec. But um, this month, it's all about the black cat. Um, I remember when I was little, we had a black cat called Pitch. This looks just like Pitch. Now, the panel available is available on its own. $9.99, what a cracking price that is. Um, it's our October Cat of the Month, the Black Cat Fabric Panel. Now, we sold out of our panels last time, but we did print, uh, we did manage to get some more that were printed. So, if you decide that you want to join us at night, week nine, month nine rather, month 10, you still can, don't worry. We'll have them available. But this is our black cap. This is one of the projects that Cara is going to be showing us. Uh, this is the wonderful cushion. And then we've also got this gorgeous lunch bag. 
um, I would want all my Halloween treats in there, all my Halloween favourites. Charlie just bought me some Reese's peanut butter pumpkins, Cara. Ooh. Peanut butter pumpkins. I mean, talk about how to make my Halloween special. They are addictive, though, oh. the Reese's ones, oh. aren't they? <laughs> and he bought me a box of actual Reese's pieces, which yes. I've never had before. Oh, my gosh. OK. He went into an American sweet shop and spent <laughs> an absolute fortune. Um, this is the panel. There it is. <laughs> It's gorgeous, isn't it? $9.99, it's a wonderful price. You've got that black cat um, down there on a gorgeous sort of charcoal -y grey background. You've got those little labels underneath that say black cat. I think they're super. Look at those. Just for adding to the same project or another. And then you've also got your two and a half inch strips. You've got five different strips. Now, of course, this will be brilliant for making a tote bag. You could make cushions. You could make um, a little cat blanket. That would be fun. What about a lovely new blanket for the cat's bed you could make a wall hanging a halloween inspired wall hanging would be really fun add a few extra fabrics in there you could make the lunch bag as well lots and lots of different things you could do with this i'm going to flip that around now lots of you are multi-buying this panel it's a great idea because maybe one for the quilt and one to make a coordinating cushion See, what I'm thinking is, if you're going to make the whole quilt and you're going to have that up all year round, what do you think of this, Cara? You might want to be able to then, like, change the cushion each month. Oh, goodness, month. yes. So you've got a matching cushion in the armchair by... Yes, that goes with the um, We're liking quilt. that idea? Yeah, definitely, Ooh. definitely. Mm. I love the idea that you can, with the Amber Mates patterns... Yeah. Um, you can make lots of different projects. You absolutely can. Cara, can I just ask you to, to step to the left a tiny bit for My me, My left. Please? Yeah, just so we can have a little closer look at that quilt. <laughs> that is magnificent, isn't it? It is gorgeous. Now, in 12 months' time, we will do the sashing and binding so that you can complete the quilt and pull it all together. Um, that's what's to come. That's what we're working towards. But in the meantime, we're going to collect those panels up but also make something else like a coordinating cushion that you can mix and match each month to coordinate with your quilt. Now, let's just have a quick look before we move on at the previous two months. And we'll start with last month, September, which was one of my favourite cat breeds, which is the Maine Coon. When I bought my very first Berman cat, um, the breeder of Hebe also bred Maine Coons. Oh, goodness. And I had never seen such large cats. I, I didn't. I did the um, that cat last time. I actually made, made the messenger bag that we've got there Lovely. and also the cushion. Yeah. And I thought, I've never heard of that sort of cat. So I had a look on it, the internet. Yeah. My gosh, some of them are Huge. They are. They're like the size of dogs. Yes. They are. And they're so muscular. I think they're the largest breed of, of cat. Just beautiful. Really stunning. Um, this is what we made last time. Well, I say we. Cara. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful the royal we. About the royal we there. <laughs> Let's throw that here. We made these last time. Cara and I. We're up all night. Sewing um, street did. Party. <laughs> Sewing street. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, messenger bag that what about a messenger bag each month or this wonderful round cushion this is very clever use of the the strips it really is i mean um i think um this was originally the patterns were for bird of the month but they translate so well to cat of the month yeah absolutely brilliantly if you search bird of the month you'll see all the patterns online on our website and of course any of those would be suitable for using your cat of the month so that's the main coon. That was September. Let's go back to August. Oh, remember August. <laughs> Sunshine. We have been lucky, though, haven't yeah, we? Right. We, we have. really have. Yeah, I'm not really yeah. complaining. It's, it's pretty good at the moment. So August was the tuxedo. Now, I think this must be quite a modern breed of cat, isn't it? The tuxedo. But look at that. Like, it's got a little dicky bow on. Beautiful. Do love black and white cats and lovely coordinates to go with so you're getting that panel you're getting the labels two of those that say tuxedo and then don't forget you're getting 
these uh, wonderful uh, two and a half inch by 43 inch strips. You're getting five of those. So the equivalent of jelly roll strips, aren't they? Um, that coordinate perfectly with your fabric. You could cut right angle triangles out of those, piece those together would be really exciting. Um, also, you know, using like the wedge ruler, something like that, uh, like the circle cushion, really nice. You could do a tuffet. A tuffet? A tuffet. Oh, you mm. need to explain what a tuffet is. Now, we've got some bundles <laughs> available today in order to get this panel. So what you're getting is you're getting Amber Makes instructions. Now, these instructions are photographed using the bird of the month, but of course they work perfectly well with your new cat of the month panel. So in this bundle, you're saving a pound and you're getting the Amber Makes Patchwork Star Cushion instructions. You're also getting the brand new cat of the month, the Lucky Black Cat panel included. Saving a pound, it's $18.99. All right, and that's to make this gorgeous cushion. But you can also make that up, make the cushion, well, make the front up, and then make that into a tote bag, couldn't you? Definitely. Very simple. So many things that you can do with yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, I'm always looking at a pattern thinking, what else could I make I with know, that? I know, I mm. know. No, make a lovely bag. Really, So that's really one nice bundle. Bag. The other bundle that we've got is using the Amber Makes Bird of the Month lunch bag pattern. And again, Cara's got a gorgeous sample. We've got it on the table with me, using the cat panel for this. So you're getting the lunch bag, instructions you're also getting the brand new lucky black cat panel and that panel the the cat itself ten and a half inches square so a really good size we've called it a lunch bag this is actually it's a really good size i'll show it you in a second really good size so i mean we've used it here as a lunch bag you could use it for all sorts of things i actually think it would make a fantastic doorstop um, you could make an inner so here it is, actually. Here it is. You see, I'm just thinking that with the that I think would make a brilliant doorstop. Definitely. With you know something like the plas our plastic beads, you can get in a bag. I mean, actually, don't even have to take them out of the bag. Just put the bag of beads inside, or just something heavy, a couple of bricks wrapped up in calico inside. Use that as a doorstop. But isn't that fun? Really fun. Haley and I now, suggested uh, gin. Yes, we thought gin would go nicely in there. Gin, a couple a of tonics. Block, couple of tonics. Like the way we're going with this. Excellent. It is only quarter past nine in the morning. Sorry. Cara, behave yourself. <laughs> Goodness me. Honestly. Now we'll just run through all the bits and pieces that you need for making um, the lunch bag. Um, we'll just run through those quickly on the website. So, Cara. Show us, show Ooh. us your wares. What are you going to show us this morning? Um, I wanted to go through um, the actual patchwork star cushion. I felt that that was um, a really good one. The lunch bag is lovely, um, but I don't know whether we'll have time to talk too much about that. But I'm really, really happy to sort of go through um, some of the certain elements yeah. of it. It's a nice, um, easy sew though, isn't it? It is, it really Either is. Either of the projects. And um, what I love about it is, that although we've used the seeded cotton on um, the sample that we've got, you can use some of the coordinated um, fabrics that you had earlier, yeah. which would work really, really Absolutely. well with it. So. Absolutely, yeah. I think the Tim Holtz bundle would work really well using those, but also don't forget in the last hour, we had these gorgeous kind of seeded calico. We had the white, the elephant gray, the light grey, the black and that polka dot. All of these would work very, very well with our brand new uh, Lucky Black Cat. Yeah, absolutely lovely. So let's have a look at this patchwork okay. cushion. So um, I love Amber Makes instructions because they're so clear and so straightforward. Um, having said that, I would like to just point out and um, Rebecca won't mind me mentioning, but in the actual instructions for this particular one, um, there is um, a slight um, difference. Um, she's saying creating 16 half square triangles. You actually only need to create 12 and Got you'll on. only be able to get 12 
from the strips that are included on the panel. Understood. So I really want to sort of just emphasize yep. that. When I first started working it, I wasn't aware that there was a difference here. And I thought, I'm never going to get the right number of triangle, half Got square you. triangles. Did you panic a little bit? Um, I did. I actually panicked a little bit and contacted, I think it was on a Sunday, or uh -huh. um, contacted Rebecca and sort of said, oh, have I made a mistake? You know, and she said, no, actually, on the um, instructions, you just need to be aware it's 12 Got you. of the um, half square triangles and cool. each side so is just fabric. six. You've got enough. If you look at the one that I've made on the table there, mm. you'll see that each side uses just six. Yep. So that's that's really don't panic. Really Perfect. don't panic. Okay. So. Apart from that, the instructions are, are lovely, really, really clear. There's very clear um, photographs as well on the side there. So, so um, where do we start then? So the ingredients, I love that fact. It's like, uh, you know, you're cooking really yeah, yeah. with the panel. So you've got the um, what you will need. And um, so it's got all the information there. We've actually put a zip or we, oh, the royal we again. Yes, again. Um, I've put a zip in the back of um, the cushion there, but you can do an envelope back. Mm -hmm. um, the backing fabric, so just plain um, fabric for the back. How much of that do we need, a backing um, 22 fabric? And twen uh, 22 by 22 or 55 by 55 centimetres. So right. 22 by 22 um, inches. Wadding, same size. So um, I used, I think on that one, did I use? I used 8640 on that yep, one just perfect. to give a bit of padding. But, you know, any sort of... Um, any wadding or um, you know quilting, and you can find waddings and zips, of course, on our website. Do have a look and yes. add those in. Yeah, so um, take a bit of time, make a coffee, sit down, have a, a read of the instructions. And that's always good to do before you actually start. Yeah, um, using a quarter of an inch seam allowance as well. Um, all the measurements are listed um, vertically, then horizontally. So there's everything in here. Um, the abbreviation RS for right side, everything. Um, and then she'll take you through all the um, cutting. So that's mm -hmm. the important thing. So on the panel that I haven't got a, a plain panel here, yeah. you can actually label each strip um, A to E, depending on which one you want. So well, I did it from idea. the top and I used just a friction pen on the back yeah. of each one. So I cut each of those um, strips out and yeah. then labeled them A, B, C, D, E. And that just helps you when you're actually cutting. But it's up to you if you want to do it the other so way around. So you could around, label you them do, like this yeah. kind of. Yeah. A, B, C. That's a really good tip. So you don't get lost. Yeah, you don't get lost. And what I did was when I um, actually cut everything out on the back of it, mm. I actually wrote what it was. So again, that really helps you when you're working through. So cut out all the pieces, um, that's the important thing. Great tip, I like that. And then um, then you're actually cutting your panel. So your bird panel um, is as it is here. Um, Only it's a cat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I read bird panel. Um, so yes, so you um, cut that, you attach the inner borders, and so I've done that because that's very straightforward. So are those inner borders part of our fabric that we've got? They are. They are brilliant. Yeah. Okay. So you they're, don't need anything they're else. cut. No, cut from the strip. Okay. So they're one and three quarter inch. I'm pretty sure is. So they're a little bit narrower than the two and a half inch. Mm -hmm. um, but I've got my A, B, C and D. Um, so that's how they work on the cushion. But you'll notice on the one over there, I think I've, I've used it slightly differently. Mm -hmm. So you yep. can see that they you are. Can mix and match yeah, a bit you can if you play want around to. with them completely. Yep. And they're just the short edges um, are stitched first, and then you've got the longer side edges, and then everything I've pressed to the outside, mm -hmm. um, just to keep everything nice and flat. So that's the first thing that you'll do is actually um, sort all that out. Yeah. Press it and then pop that to one side. And that in itself would make a really uh, neat little cushion, wouldn't it? If you wanted yes. a little accent pillow, you could just back that and put a bit of piping cord around the outside. Definitely, definitely. Like okay, so then you'll take your strips and again um, in the instructions she'll um, explain which strip you, so you're going to be making your half square triangles. Okay. I'm not a patchworker, I'm not a quilter, so half square triangles? No, not at all. Wow. No, I want to. When yeah. I 
when I'm retired. We want you to. <laughs> when I'm retired, that's that's one of my things on my list is when I okay. retire, I want to get into um, the patchwork and the quilting. So. Well, isn't that a reassuring message? Because you know? I was looking <laughs> at these gorgeous samples that Cara made earlier on thinking, wow, lovely skills, you know, but... <laughs> Cara's not a quilter, no. Cara, doesn't, Cara doesn't do patchwork. So um, great news if you're an absolute beginner. What a fantastic first project this could be. I love a challenge. Mm -hmm. I always love a challenge. And you know, if um, Sewing Street were to come to me and say, would you do a quilt? I would do it, but I don't feel I'm experienced enough. You heard it um, here first, folks. <laughs> I should look forward to that quilt. <laughs> you might have to wait a little while. You might have to wait a little while. Um, and I, re I really know that um, I will enjoy it. And I yeah. think that's one of the things is that I know that once I get into the patchwork and quilting, everything else will just go by the wayside. Yeah. So I think um, you're already there. Now, <laughs> so, <laughs> how do we do these half square triangles? So you take two of your two and a half inch strips and you want them 26 inches long so that that's fine. They will come out of um, the actual panel that you've got. And then you'll put the... Um, strips together right sides together and what you're going to do is machine quarter of an inch across there and a quarter of an inch across there okay. so i've done one earlier oh in excellent. blue peter style very good because i didn't think you'd want to see me just machining like that so I there's your um see you doing anything <laughs> at all there's your two um pieces right sides together yep. and your um seam top and bottom um, the quarter inches. Mm -hmm. Now this is um, just mind blowing. I've, uh, again, you know, I thought, oh gosh, you know, triangles. Am I going to be able to get them accurate? Yep. Am I going to be able to um, do them? So uh, what Rebecca has put very, very clear instructions about having one of these beautiful um, creative grid. This is a little square one. Mm -hmm. I didn't have one of these ones at home. I had my great big one. Okay. And you can do exactly the same on a great big one. Okay. So um, don't worry, you know, if you haven't got a little one like this, but a little one like this is quite handy. And what she'll um, explain is actually putting some quilting tape and you'll want your quilting tape to go from the two and a half inch marking on either side there hoping that you can see is that, that that top edge of the tape yes yeah yeah so the top edge of the tape is at the two and a half inches yeah okay mm -hmm. um, and this is lovely because I think this must be about a quarter of an inch so um, it is and it indeed. won't it well, won't it's five sixteenths yes it won't um, stick to the the so when you finish you can take it off and it's mm. not all tacky and everything so that's what you would do if you've got one of these um, if you've got a bigger one then you know you can do exactly the same but what you want is that line to be the two and a half inches yeah and then what you'll do is take your cutting board and take your ruler and you'll match the edge of the tape along with the actual edge of your stitching. So mm -hmm. that's your quarter of an inch. Mm -hmm. Then you'll take your rotary cutter and what you can do is actually just match that up to the um, side there. Mm -hmm. And what you'll do is you'll actually then with your rotary cutter cutting away from yourself is cut that across like that. And then if you've got a small mat, which is why I wanted this mat, yes. you just turn it and cut that one away. And then you're left with a lovely triangle like this. Oh, and that's that. your, I know. That's your half square triangle. Well, that is your half, half square triangle. So when, when you've done your first one, you will then, I found it easier, and again, everybody will have their own way of doing it, is turn it over, then you match your tape up again. Gotcha. There, and you'll actually match it to the raw um, edges mm -hmm. at the side there and you'll make another cut whoops try and not do it uh, off okay but I'm not too worried about there, that little there? bit you can always trim it up well again. when you do the next one you'll turn it over and you'll actually have a little bit left over so you're again you're matching it to that bottom mm -hmm. line can you see you've got a little bit of fabric left over there yep. so i wasn't too worried that i ah, came off a little bit I see. so you'll cut again cut like that rotate your mat if you've got a rotating cutting mat that helps yeah 
I'm not touching my ruler, I'm not touching the fabric. I'm just turning it round so that I can cut away from myself. And why wouldn't you turn the fabric at this stage, Cara? Um, I think if you turned the fabric at this stage, there you've, you've got more elements, you're actually handling it more. Yeah. So I just want it to be flat. Yeah. Because you're cutting um, on the diagonal, the more you handle that, the more the fabric will come out of yes. shape. Yes. So um, I just found it easier. Um, to just do it on a small mat. Well, it's a good tip generally when you're cutting out your strips, you know, when you've squared off the edge of your fabric before you start cutting anything. Yes. Don't then, when you've cut a beautiful straight edge, lift the fabric up and turn it round because your straight edge is gone now. You'll yes. never get it back no. straight like you no. had it under the ruler. No. Just turn your mat. Brilliant tip. Yeah. We've it's... got a lovely email in. Let me just share that with you. Here it is. Good morning, Stuart. Hello, oh. you. Good morning, studio. Just had to get this and got it so early before 8 a.m. Well done, Carolyn. Bought two as these will be two cushions for my lovely daughter-in-law, Millie. She has a black cat called Satan. Not today, Satan. The panel looks like him. What do you think? I think it looks definitely, exactly like him. Definitely. Have a super day watching whilst working. Shh. Carolyn, <laughs> your secret is safe with me and millions of other people. <laughs> that is gorgeous. What a gorgeous cat. What a go I love black cats. I They're beautiful. Cats. Um, from the point of view, it's the eyes, it isn't, is, it? isn't it? You just see the eyes and it they just um, are mesmerising. Yeah, they so, are. And these ones are little kind of like a greeny yellow um, eyes. I, you know, I'm almost inclined when I make up this panel is to just add a little bit of embroidery or something to the eyes. This um, was what I was thinking when I was actually um, stitching it. I thought, oh my gosh, I could do some free motion embroidery. Yeah. And, um, you know, like the whiskers and yeah. the eyes, you could just play around you with really it. Could. Really, Maybe really find could. find some uh, holographic thread. Yes. Or glow in the dark thread. Yes. As yes. well, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. What about turning this panel into a trick or treat tote bag? Yes. For when you're walking the streets and um, I'm walking. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do in your spare time, we don't need to know. Thank you. Um, but the glow in the dark, you can get glow in the dark thread from DMC, <laughs> which is lovely. Can you? <laughs> you can. You can. Shall I carry on? Right. So I'm carrying on just cutting these and you can see how quickly you can get through your fabric. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Good. It can't take you Excellent. anywhere. Well done, everybody. <laughs> I don't know what you do on Halloween, but anyway. Well, look, Halloween. Can I just say, Halloween is... <laughs> I should just shut up, really, right. shouldn't I? <laughs> um, Halloween is really popular in the village where I live. And is there are it? a lot of people walking the streets of the village with their children, getting candy and sweets from all the neighbours. And it's very lovely. It's a nice community event. And we it haven't is. really seen each other for two years, so I'm really looking forward to this no, year. No, and I think last year um, in our close, um, we had like a WhatsApp group. So we nice. all communicated mm. with each other and we said... For those who want to, yeah. what we do is we, we've, um, my husband grew a massive pumpkin and then uh -huh. carved it. Yeah. And then we put our sweets just outside the door. Oh, that's a nice thing So to do. the children, we didn't have to have um, direct contact. And I right. think people will carry on doing that. So, yeah. um, but the children still dressed up and they still looked amazing. Absolutely it's amazing. It's so cute. It's lovely, it isn't really it? It really is. It really is. Very so. nice. Well, as I say, I think it'll make a great bag. It would make a great trick or treat bag. So half square triangles, they came together really, really quick. You press them now? Yes, I'm afraid I do. I'm hoping <laughs> that's right. And um, also to the dark side. Of course, <laughs> this is Halloween. Come on. So um, just press them very, very carefully. So again, you're on the diagonal, so you don't want to handle it too much. Yeah, this method does mean that the outside edges of your half square triangle angles are on the bias which yes. is the stretchier grain however yes. the panel is very firmly woven it is a very firm tight fabric isn't it there's it's not a lovely. lot of stretch yes. and if you wanted to minimize any any risk of stretching what i would recommend is if you get yourself some either best press oh yes or spray starch spray your fabrics before you cut them. So even before you cut them into strips, give it a good old spray with best press, give it an iron, 
give the fabric a little bit more body, a little, make it a little bit more stable, and then cut it up and make the half square triangles. And that would just minimise any stretch. Yes, yes. No, that's a, that's a good uh, tip for when I am doing my quilts. <laughs> Yeah. Any any um, cutting on the diagonal is is good to minimise the stretch. Yeah, it oh, is. Yeah. But it is a great method for for making half square triangles. That's lovely. Yeah. Really, really nice. Yeah. So I'm not going to um, press all of those because I've got some. We don't again. mind. I'm <laughs> watching your press fabric. I'll just carry on, <laughs> and um, <sighs> so I'll pop that down there. And then what you'll do once you've pressed them is cut off any of the now, you know, we're talking cats, but yes, we say dog ears. But these are dog ears, yes, so, absolutely. And also just, um, no matter how careful you are at cutting, um, you may find that your edge has just got a tiny little bit of extra fabric. So okay. at this stage, just cut the um, edge nice and square. Yep. So we're squaring these up to two and a half inches. Yes. Yep. Yep. So you'll do that, and that's very therapeutic, um, mm. sort of the method of doing all of that until it you is. get all your um, half square triangles. Yeah, I like it. Now that Creative Grids ruler that Cara's using there is on screen. It's 14 99 and it's a six and a half inch square ruler. This, I think, you know, I, I, I love a six by 24 ruler, quilt is essential, but I'm a big fan of the square up ruler. Six and a half inch, really, really useful size. That one plus a really nice big one would be yes. my two must-have yes. square rulers. Yeah. I need um, to treat really myself. for squaring things yeah. up. I need to treat myself treat to yourself. a small one. Yeah. 14 99 Yeah, that's a really good, really good. Excellent. For doing lots of um, small projects. And the, yeah. um, the other thing that I like, and I've been using a lot of recently, is one of these mats as well. Oh yeah, the wool So, you know, mat. that's really good. So you've got They're a little, on the little one, you know, especially people are going back to their classes and things like that. Yeah, or just if you haven't got very much space to sew or quilt at home as well. I mean, lots of lots of us don't have the luxury of a great big sewing studio. It's, you know, whatever space we can find on the kitchen table. Um, oh, Neil, just come in. Just come in. <laughs> what is that? Is that coffee? Please tell me that's not tea. <laughs> no, coffee. Did you want oh. coffee or did you want tea? I wanted tea. Do you want tea? Do you want to swap it? Oh, goodness gracious me. No, I'll drink <laughs> He had one job. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. That's very kind of you. And I do know how much you enjoy being on screen. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. Love it. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. That'll keep me lubricated. Okay. Ah, where so, are we at? So um, you've got your half square triangles. And then, um, again, if you... Look at the instructions. Um, Rebecca will take you through. Amber Mates takes you through the layout of the actual um, strips. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm going to join some of them together. But what I felt was that you could actually just lay them out until you're happy with the actual position of them. Sorry, I'll yes. move that down. Yes, I mean, sometimes it's good to absolutely follow the pattern as is, and sometimes you want to just sort of have a little mix and match, Yes, definitely. I think as well, I mean, you could, if you wanted to, mix and match those half square triangles, couldn't you? could, you? And have definitely. all four different fabrics all yeah. spread throughout. Yeah. I, I felt, you know, I will follow the instructions, but once I've done them, as you, as you can see, the one that I finished over there mm. is different to the one here. Yeah. So um, you can play around with the position. Cool. And I think that is just a wonderful, wonderful project. I really love it. No, I've really enjoyed it. And that's why I know that when I do start um, making quilts and things like that, yeah, I am going to love Yeah, you are going to love it. I know. It's a great way of making a little bit of patchwork go a long way as well, because you've got that focal point of the panel in the centre. That's taking up a good 10 inch square in the centre of the quilt or the cushion or the bag, and then a little bit of piecing around the outside. So maybe this is something that's quite giftable as well, either the panel, but as a finished project too, um, would be brilliant for if you've got any cat loving friends. Um, I think that's probably most of us, isn't it? Yes. I'm definitely a cat person. Team cat! <laughs> All the way. Got to say that because Mrs Mills will be watching this morning. <laughs> Mrs Mills is my Berman. She's oh. nearly 19. Oh gosh, I bet and she's uh, incredible. She's amazing. I mean, she spends quite a lot of time sleeping yeah. these days, but then she always did. Aww. She slept about 18 hours a day when she was a kitten. <laughs> 
<laughs> what so a life. What yeah, a life. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And the other whatever hours are left, six hours, she would be eating or being cuddled. <laughs> I mean, that stroked. is definitely the life stroked. I want. Definitely. Yeah. definitely. She lay me on a cushion and stroke me. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. Before... <laughs> Oh, we will carry on. Um, so I have laid all the um, half square triangles out um, to just be happy with the placement and everything. Some of them I've already machined. Um, these ones on this side, I haven't. So I will do some machining as it's a sewing show. And oh, I think please I need do. to. Well, you've got your machine out. You might as well. I know. I what know. machine are you using for this, by the way? Um, it's the Elna 570A, which Great. I love. It's so, a lovely um, machine. So we'll on be looking back at that at 12 o'clock, actually, if you want to get a bit more information on the 570A. So what I'm going to do is just pin these together and then machine them. And you'll notice the side pieces are longer and mm -hmm. they're made longer by the addition of um, a plain or the darkest um, strip, yep. just a square of fabric there. So cool. I'm, I'm going to cornerstone. Um, yeah. That's the technical word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning all these things. So I just need to um, make sure that I'm putting these in the right direction. So I'm just pinning them. You don't have to pin them, but I just felt yes, that... Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt it was easier to be sure that I got them in the right place. So. Of course, don't forget at home, if you, if you were really taken with the main coon panel or the tuxedo panel, and you think, actually, the tuxedo panel, I want to do that for a, a Halloween uh, tote bag, then you can get that panel. In the show today, we've got both of those panels, both September and August panels, um, on the show. So here's that lovely Maine Coon, which again has a lovely kind of autumny Halloween. It's not, you know, it's not a Maine Coon in um, Harry Potter. Mrs. What's the cat called? I don't know. I want to say Mrs. Robinson, but it's not Mrs. Robinson. Mm, help me out, somebody. But uh, yeah, I mean, that would be great, wouldn't it? Look at that. That's the Maine Coon. Uh, that was September. And then we've also got August. It was Mrs. Norris, wasn't it? Mrs. Norris. That was a Norwegian forest, wasn't it? Was it a Norwegian forest cat? Or was it a Maine Coon? I thought it was a Norwegian forest cat. And then there's the tuxedo. And again, just absolutely gorgeous. So if you fancy doing the, the star patchwork cushion, um, but using the tuxedo panel, remember you can buy the Patchwork Star Cushion instructions on their own. You can buy the individual panels on their own as well and mix and match if you've been inspired by Cara. There are the details for the tuxedo. Do you like a man in a tuxedo, Cara? Um, Depends. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Depends on the tuxedo. Um, no, it depends on the man. <laughs> Definitely. 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 Oh, James Bond. Oh. Have you seen the new James Bond? No, not yet. Are I you hear. Going I to? hear. Um, no, I'm not up to going to the cinema yet. Right. I'm afraid, um, but I will um, eventually. Although a friend of mine went to see. Um, the film the other day and he was the only person in the cinema really the entire cinema to himself really yeah oh, okay i yeah. will go and i know people who have been but um no as i say i'm not uh... i haven't i haven't ventured uh, to the cinema yet but no. i'm so keen to see the new james bond i went to um a concert the other week Ooh. and um who was that uh, genesis Oh, yeah. Do you know, I was listening to the radio yesterday and Sarah Cox was talking about Yes, it. and it was amazing, absolutely yeah. amazing. And I was very apprehensive about going, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it was fine. It yeah. was absolutely fine. It's all right. I've got some um, fabric just and thread knotted. Talk amongst yourselves. Um, but yes, that was the first sort of thing that I'd been to. So if I've been to that, then I should feel okay going to um, a cinema should not. Well, it's when you're ready, isn't it? Yeah. You know. Everybody's We've got different. a lovely email coming, Cara. Let's have a little look at this. 
little black. Oh, come oh, on. Look at the oh, eyes. The look at the eyes. Uh, October is my granddaughter's birthday month. Oh. I love a birthday month. And I've bought her her own sewing machine this year. Oh, sewing oh machine. fantastic. Oh, how lovely. The black cat panel also just landed in my shopping bag. Oh. Run into it uh, at eight o'clock this morning for obvious reasons. This is my granddaughter with her cat, Dora. Oh, Dora Aww. looks adorable. Well, they are both adorable. Oh, she will. will I oh. wonder if her granddaughter will do the sewing now that she's got her sewing machine. Oh, I should think so. Absolutely. Well, what, I mean, it's a great project, isn't it, They're using a panel to, to start sewing with children because they get really good, proper results. Yes. You know. Yes. Um, it, it's a brilliant start. Thank you so much for that email. Yes. And your granddaughter is such a little cutie, those eyes. And a beautiful cat, too. Is Dora an explorer? I bet. I Cats bet. do love it, don't they? All you've got to do is put a cardboard box down for a cat, haven't you? And they just dive straight in. When I was a school teacher, I, one of my favourite children's books ever is My Cat Likes to Hide in Boxes. All right. It is absolutely superb. The cat from France likes to sing and dance, but my cat likes to hide in boxes. And it's going through all different cats from different countries and what they do. Aww. Anyone who's ever had a cat, I think, and put a cardboard box down can relate. But and this paper. Is such they a love cute paper panel. as well, don't they? They do. They do. I had a cat years ago, Cleo, who you only had to put a piece of paper down and she would sit on it. <laughs> and once I volunteered for the village fete and I was like the treasurer, so I had to take all the money home and count it. And I had a big stack of £10 notes that I'd put on the side and I oh. turned around and they were gone. Oh and no! And then I looked and Cleo was just sprawled <laughs> on top of the money. <laughs> She's a girl after my heart. Now then, it's a wonderful, wonderful pattern that we've got today. It's the new Cat of the Month panel. It's brand new today, much anticipated and waited for. Uh, lots of you are loving this panel. Uh, it's the little lucky black cat and it's exclusive to us here at Sewing Street. You won't find this panel anywhere else. It's part of our exclusive 12 month block of the month uh, cat quilt. Let's have a look at that whole quilt. This is what we're working towards. It is absolutely gorgeous. So what you'll want to do here is collect the panels each month. Now, a lot of you are buying two or more panels, and I'm guessing that you're either going to make two of these quilts or you're saving one for the final quilt, and the other panel you're making something to coordinate. A cushion, a bag, a messenger bag, which looks ace. Um, some lovely little projects, or maybe gifts as well. We will, of course, have all of the panels available at the end of 12 months. So if you would struggle to kind of sit on those panels for a whole year, then you can buy them all at the end. But I also think it's a really nice way to spread the cost of making the quilt too by buying a panel each month. So this month, it's the Lucky Black Cat for October. Uh, this is a real cutie little, I think it's a kitten, isn't it, really? It's quite a young cat, that. Still got that kind of wide-eyed enthusiasm. <laughs> enthusiasm for life. Haley's going to send in a picture of her own cat so we can have a little <laughs> look. <laughs> Email the studio at studio at sewingstreet.com. There you go. And also as well, if you're working on, it, on anything, we've had some nice pictures of projects that you're currently working on. Love to see those, don't we, Cara? We definitely do, definitely do. How are you getting on with your pressing? Yeah, fine, so. Um, so we seems one way or open? Right, that was, um, when I looked at, um, Rebecca did the, um, the bird of the month with this particular pattern. So I did watch that and see if there was anything, you know, that um, would be helpful. And um, I thought, oh, do the seams go one way, the other way, or um, whatever. Yep. And I think um, on Rebecca's, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but um, she had all her seams going in one direction. Yep. And I thought, oh, OK, if it was me, I'm a dressmaker as well, yep. I would open my centre seam and then do the others in one direction towards the centre. Yep. But 
I don't know what's the yeah. what's the, the the right way of doing it. Well, as you said earlier on, a lot of the time we press towards the dark side yes. just in case if it's a very light fabric and a very dark fabric, so you don't get any show through. Yes. But it doesn't matter that much because you're not nesting these seams with no. anything else. No. So do whatever makes you happy, folks. <laughs> do whatever makes you happy. So I've actually, on this one, I've um, had my centre one open and then the others I'm actually pressing all in one direction. You rogue. You rogue. I know. Cara. I know. And I'll let you know if... Uh, and then I, I pressed before I um, actually worked on the seams. Um, right. What well, lovely contrast there. And yes. Remember, you're getting all these fabrics on your panel. You don't have to buy anything extra. No, to this that's project. right. That's right. Even the cornerstones. Fab. Okay. And then the next stage, I don't know how we're doing time, when we're, okay, is um, placing those actually top and bottom. And then I finished my two side ones. So I'll be doing some more straight stitching. Let's do that. But it, it shows you how quickly it comes together. And I pop a pin in either side. Don't worry if the fabric's slightly overhanging because you can trim that afterwards. Um, but what you want to make sure is that your center is nice and flat. And then we'll pin the other side. If you wanted to, you could mark the center of your um, panel along one seam mm -hmm. and then match that with the seam of the half square triangles. Yeah, it's worth taking a little bit of time to pin, isn't it? Yes, you get a much definitely. better end result. Definitely. And, and I do exactly the same as you. Center, ends, and then just kind of even it out in between. Yes. Just to kind of, you know, get a really, really good neat. I was amazed actually, and I'm not going to do it, but if you pull that, how much give there is in yeah, it. Um, yeah. So that's why you have to be really careful when you're pressing. You do. Because if you pull it too hard, you'll actually stretch the fabric. Yeah, and it'll I don't be too long. It will make it much too long. Yeah. Um, which is why I've sort of said, um, don't worry if you've got a little bit of an overhang either end, you just want to make sure that they're centrally placed. So I'm going mm. to just machine there and there quarter of an inch and mm -hmm. then we'll do the side panels and then we're on to the last bit. Fantastic and we've got about 10 minutes left on the show so should be just enough time. Now do we want to see producer Haley's cat? Yes of course we do. <laughs> goodness me. Good oh, oh my goodness. What's, What's his, his name? name? Yeah. Todd. Todd. Toddy cat. Oh. Oh, oh, Todd was abandoned, Cara. Oh. He was a rescue cat and he'd been abandoned. And the man who rescued him was called Todd. So Hayley called called her cat after the man who rescued him. Oh, it's not four months old. He looks adorable. Does he love cuddles? Yes, of course he does. On his terms. You can kind of see it in the way those arms are poised to either cuddle you or draw blood. Or Am I right? Bat you or off. both? Yes. <laughs> See, I've been very lucky with my cats over the years. Mrs. Mills and her mum, Hebe, would just, would lie in my arms like a baby any time of day or night, just cradled and never scratch and never, yeah, just love their cuddles. Aww. Just love their cuddles. Very gentle. I'd like to, I wish, I wish I could clone Mrs. Mills because she's nearly 19. I know oh, I won't have her forever, gosh. but I'd like to, you know, and her personality and her gentle softness. She actually, she comes to her name. So wherever she is in the house, if I call her, she'll come running. Is there usually food involved? No. no, no, really? No, rarely, only for me. <laughs> nice message on the bottom from um, Moya. My cat ran over to my pattern being laid out on fabric on the floor and beat it up <laughs> and ran off. <laughs> One ruined dress pattern, Moya from Thursday. Oh, Moya, that's hilarious. They do that, don't they? I love that. Ran over and beat it up. <laughs> it's like you're paying the pattern more attention than me. Yeah, totally, totally. If I'm ever watching TV, I've got Sewing Street on. Um, 
Mrs. Mills will jump up onto the TV cabinet and she will position her body over the screen and she'll stretch herself <laughs> out as much as possible to fill the screen so I can't Aww. so I can only look at her <laughs> does your cat do that they absolutely and it's the same I think with sewing isn't it I'm sure that's why cats get involved with sewing because you're focusing on something other than them so they come and start pouring I think on the <laughs> um, Facebook fans page um, I, f I can remember seeing so many pictures of cats sort of either sat on the sewing machine or by the sewing machine yeah. like you know excuse Constant me companion. what about me yeah. what about me oh lots of us have, have our uh, feline sewing companions don't we we did a little thing the other week actually um uh pets crafting yes and um, lots of lots of you <laughs> set in <laughs> pictures of your pets helping you to craft we had a cracking um it was a, a parrot i think who was helping sort embroidery floss oh my gosh <laughs> and we also had um i think there were guinea pigs helping to craft as well which was rather Aww. special <laughs> Love but it's it. true, they want to get involved. Of course Why they not do. Let them? Of course they do. Oh. So those sides have gone on. So short sides first. Short sides first. Yep. And I'm going to just trim any excess off. Yep. And seams towards the... I've actually put them towards the middle. Yeah, definitely. And... Um, I'm going to just turn this over. It's lovely, isn't it, working in monochrome? Today's been a little bit about monochrome. I, I think, you know, um, home decor mm. and things like that at the moment is very, very monochrome, isn't yes. it? With greys and... Greys and silver are yes. the colours, aren't they? Yes, definitely. Thank you. But um, if you are into colour, that's yep. what's beautiful about these patterns, is that you don't have to use the panels. Um, so if you want to add a bit of... Um, cath facet yeah, yeah, yeah. you know you can well you could cover some piping cord and put oh gosh piping yes cord around this cushion or can you imagine in the green in the green yes yeah bright yellow you could put yep. a pop of pink anything yes. you wanted really because it's such a neutral background um, i finally got the ad ipad up and running and when i say i've got the ipad <laughs> up and running, the royal what wing. i actually mean is our director elliot has got our ipad up and running um <laughs> let's read some messages jan loving this morning show with stuart cara thanks jan me too. Um, <laughs> Claire has got in touch to say there's no right or wrong way to patchwork. Aww. Done and maybe slightly fudged is better than stored Aww. unfinished in a drawer. Oh, okay. Claire, you are so right. Excellent. The cat in Harry Potter is Mrs. Norris and belongs to Argus Flitch, the caretaker. Thanks, Claire. Yes, indeed. Carol says good morning all. Um, uh, I wasn't a quilter, says Claire, but uh, I could sew. I threw myself in at the deep end. I did an ABC quilt, 26 different blocks and corners. It's wonky and I've improved since, oh, but I love to see how far I've come. That is absolutely wonderful. on the money. Wonderful, totally wonderful. Um, Susan says, morning, everyone. Look, looking forward to the show. Love watching Cara's projects. She's a great guest oh, and I always learn you. something new when she's on. Oh, thank you. That's lovely, thank you. Um, uh, Jill says, tuxedo isn't the breed, it's the colour. Ah, ah, thank you. Of course. Thank you. I was wondering about that. Brilliant. Um, and gorgeous panel, indeed. Good morning, lovely Stuart. Just tuned in. Thanks, Angela. Hiya. Uh, Jan says, what size are those numbers? Ah, now Jan's referring back to my Tim Holt. Ten inches tall, about ten inches tall. I just, I freehand drew them, but you could print them off the internet. Oh, Michelle said early on, good morning. Just seen that Sewing Street is not working on Sky. Oh. We'll just check that to make sure. We are live on both Sky and Freeview, so we are great. Smashing. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. So where are we at? We're at the sides now. Open so on. again, and the only thing that I would say is you want to, um, and we were saying about nesting, um, so we want to actually match the seams of the cornerstone. Mm -hmm. So um, you want to nest those particular seams. And that's just pushing the seam allowances yes. one way and the other, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So now I'm going to do that, quarter of an inch, and then we'll see how we get on time. And of course, if you press your seams open, then then you're distributing the, the seam allowance anyway, yes. aren't you? So pressing seams open is also an option. Yes, definitely. 
And everybody has different ways of doing it, haven't they? Absolutely, absolutely. This is a lovely machine. Great, isn't it? Um, Kirsty has messaged in to say, Morning Stuart and Cara, good morning Kirsty. Our local paper used to be a broadsheet, so my mum used to read it on the floor. Our cat at the time used to get underneath it, <laughs> and one day she actually ripped it to pieces before my mum had had time to read oh. it. She was not <laughs> impressed. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's a brilliant story, Kirsty. Um, Ellen says, uh, ah, in answer to what are you making at the moment, Ellen, I'm making masks for my hairdressers as we are in Wales and still wearing mm. uh, them. So I'm also doing some Christmas masks. Well done. Gosh, that's fab. Um, yeah, I'm still wearing my mask when I'm out and about. Yes, same here. Anyway. Same um, here. Yeah. Uh, if nothing else, in the winter, because it keeps my face nice and warm when I'm walking about in the street. Yeah. There is that, isn't there? Well, that definitely. was definitely a benefit. I thought this isn't this isn't a bad thing, going out for an evening walk. But uh, lovely, thank you. I love the idea of doing Christmas ones as well. Also, I think that's do really I? Nice. Yeah. To actually wear at Christmas dinner, so you don't, have, so no one can see how much you're eating. <laughs> <laughs> Morag is messaged in saying, morning, Luna, like, oh, great name, Luna likes to sit on top of the sewing room door <gasps> and Rainbow Galaxy, God, I'm impressed with the net, your name game is strong, <laughs> uh, likes to get right in between me and the sewing machine if he's not had enough attention. Oh my gosh, Morag, can you imagine I, sort of machining round and having a cat sort absolutely. of in front of you? I'm living that life. One minute on demo. Um, we'll just share a couple of emails while you're having your last little yep. go at that. Um, a rescue that never answered to her name. So now I just say, pussycat, and she comes. Oh. She's only got three legs and oh. still nervous. Oh, I know. Love the show. What beautiful, beautiful cat. Give her a big cuddle from me. Um, and then, good morning. I made my main coon panel up into a small cushion in memory of my dear Cass, Aww. who I lost a while ago. And this looks just like her. Oh, Jeanette. Aww. I put wadding on the back to stitch around the cat and quilt some of the markings. That it looks really lovely. It really makes the design. Pop. It does Love look watching lovely. the show as I get lots of inspiration. So thank you all from Jeanette. Oh, Jeanette, that's gorgeous. And, Beautiful. Um, I love the edging. Yeah, yeah, that pleated border yes. with the lovely ruffle border. Really nice. Just goes to show, doesn't it, what a, a, a great start a panel is, whether you make it into a, a fancy cushion, a little accent pillow, or a, even a big, you know, kind of impressive quilt or a cushion. There's so much you can do. I think what I love is, you know, those fabrics that, that you were showing earlier that mm, coordinate. The monochrome. Um, yeah. If you wanted to, you could actually have this as your centre panel and then do larger half square triangles around you the edge. Could, you make, could do like yeah. a frame quilt, couldn't you? What yes. a fab idea, Cara. Thank you. Oh, look, <laughs> just in time, that black cat really was lucky for you. Let's <laughs> see what you've done. That is superb, isn't it? So Give then me an extra minute. You've just got that there. And these come included in the panel? Yes, so you cut these from your um, E, right. I think it was E, and yep. see, I wrote with my friction pen. Fab, um, that's my favourite tip of the day. <laughs> and then, oh, drop one on the floor Balls very the quickly. Way. So your machine, and I love this, um, again, when Rebecca did the Bird of the Month, um, I was thinking, why do an extra sort of panel, top and bottom and yep. at the sides? And she said, when you're actually making a cushion up, it's much nicer to have a smooth piece of fabric yeah. rather than all the seams that you've got there. Yeah, and also where it curves round into the cushion, you yes. can lose a bit of your design if you don't have that final border. Yeah. Yeah. That is absolutely superb, Cara. Thank you so much for your demos That's this okay. morning. As That's always, okay. we've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this. I hour. have. I always, you never, ever stop learning. <laughs> never no, stop learning. We'll so. see you at 11. Yes. And a bit of it. One last email. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to a bit of hand embroidery. One last email before we go to break. Oh, hello, look at this. My daughter, <laughs> Laura Spence, Jasper the black cat, George the ginger oh. cat, and Nell the dog. Goodness mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Don't think Jasper likes the other two <laughs> snuggling up. Look at the face from Jane. 
just perfect. Aww. That's why we love our pets so much. Uh, wonderful. Thanks everyone who's got involved with this morning's show. It's been an absolute riot. Um, thank you. I will see you back just after the break with a beautiful kit roundup. Don't go anywhere. See you in a moment. I'm so excited to tell you about Yarn Lane's Mystery Christmas Crochet Along, or CAL for short. Whether you're a crochet beginner or more experienced, you are going to love this project. As it builds each week into a beautiful, traditional Christmas blanket. But, now this is the mystery part. To keep you guessing, and to make it fun, we're going to keep the finished design a secret so you'll only know what the finished blanket looks like at the very end when you add the border. We have set up a special members only Facebook group where we'll be posting the next set of instructions each week and you can ask me and Wendy Orlando, our star designer, any questions. It's going to be such a great community. So head to www.yarnlane.com for more details of how it all works and to buy your kit to join in with the Christmas cow fun. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hi everyone, my name's Jules Mayouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. It's combining two of my favourite things, which are sewing and designing. Uh, I live in London at the moment, but I'm originally from Staffordshire. Uh, so I think I've got a combination of two really great things. So London's really diverse and um, lots of different cultural impacts. And then Staffordshire is very rural. So there's a lot of country influence in what I do. My grandma first taught me to sew when I was in my early teens. She was a dressmaker and she was always sewing and taking in orders from different people. Um, and I think I got my initial love of sewing from her. Um, I started making my clothes uh, because I couldn't find anything that was fashionable. So I created my own fashion. A um, bit dubious at times probably. I remember once I um, bought some really lovely, as I thought, heavy brocade material. I created a pencil skirt, thought that was fabulous. It turned out to be curtaining, uh, and I got quite a lot of stick from that. But I, you know, in my defense, I was a new romantic, and I, I think I was just fashion forward. Um, I have done a lot of um, teaching and coaching and mentoring uh, in sewing in my career. Um, and I would think that probably the best tip that I can give to people, because um, all age groups have various challenges, but the best tip is to be kind and good to yourself and don't worry about if you make mistakes because you've always got your seam ripper to hand. I'm really looking forward to my shows with Sewing Street and helping you have some hints and tips and knowledge. So I look forward to seeing you soon. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. A terrifying countdown. Oh, if you could only have heard that. 
Hello, hello, how are you this morning? Welcome to Sewing Street. It's great to have you company. Um, we've been having a fab time for the last two hours and really, really glad that you've joined us uh, for this hour. We've got some wonderful, amazing quilt uh, kits in this hour, um, wonderful, wonderful patterns that I want to share with you, and amazing fabrics. And the best part of all about a kit is you're getting everything inside already collected together for you. You know exactly how your quilt's going to turn out. You know what you're going to get. It is such a boon when you want to make a beautiful quilt and you don't want to take any risks with how it's going to turn out. Or you don't want to have to try and find all the different fabrics either. Everything in a box. What a brilliant, brilliant way to make a quilt. Now, we're going to start with a particular quilt. And this is Victoria Carrington. Now, this was launched last week. We've got one kit left. So we're just going to show you the photograph of this quilt, because if you missed out last week when it's looked, lots of you leapt on and bought this. We've got one left for one lucky viewer who's quick enough to grab this one. It's an absolutely amazing quilt, this. Nine applique panels different woodland animals designed by Victoria Carrington. Uh, absolutely beautiful, We've got the barn owl there, the fox. I saw a fox this morning on my way into work on a roundabout, looking very, very surprised by all the traffic going past it. A badger, blue tits, a little deer there, a robin, a rabbit, and a beautiful squirrel in autumn leaves. It's really lovely, all applique there, with those beautiful ombre uh, flying geese sashings. It's a magnificent piece of work, really lovely quilt to make. It's £199.99. and pence. Now if you have a look on the 30th of September on YouTube, you can find the demos of um, that quilt being shown. But we have literally got one kit left. You get all the instructions, all of the fabrics to make that incredible quilt. I think that's a real heirloom, something to spend time on over the autumn and winter. Now, I asked if we could start with these gorgeous thread collections because I just opened the boxes and my heart started fluttering, which is always a good sign. The first one is um, one of my absolute favourite people in the quilting industry. It's Valerie Wells, um, daughter of Jean Wells, who started the Sisters Quilt Show in America. Uh, they're a quilting royalty, the Wells family, um, Valerie and her mum Jean. Amazing designers and quilters and ambassadors, really. Uh, Valerie is well known for her block printing and her use of colour. This collection with Aurifil is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Now, each of these spools has 1,300 metres. That's 1,422 yards of 50 weight thread on each spool. And it's those iconic Aurifil orange spools. They are just lush. Look at that gorgeous collection. You've got 12 different colours. Each one of them is intense and rich and beautiful. Incredible, 1,300 metres on each one. Now, in terms of what can I do with that, I mean, it's absolutely brilliant for machine quilting. Free motion machine quilting, long arm quilting, you could use these threads. You could also use these threads for top stitch detail, for adding accents. You could also use this for applique. Now, in terms of each reel of thread, incredible value in each reel of thread. Incredible value. Six pounds and 67 pence per spool. Now that works out at five pence per meter of thread. That is amazing, isn't it? To add such beauty. And I know a lot of sewing fans who, once they've tried Aurifil thread, that is it. That is it. They never go back to anything else. They'll use Aurifil for everything. You've got a really gorgeous selection of colours, just those four together. I mean, talk about inspiring a quilt. Purple, bright pink, orange and yellow. Beautiful. But then you're also getting these lovely pastels, this mint, this sort of Odeneal, some beautiful blues there, this peacock 
is incredible, a chartreuse, this kind of greenish gold. And of course, once those threads are eventually all used up, you've got that lovely box as well that you can reuse for little bits and bobs. Very, very limited stock on this very limited stock, but it's incredible. A beautiful, beautiful thread collection there from Valerie Wells. Now, the other collection, <laughs> equally stunning, is from QT Fabrics, uh, who are fabric designers. This is called Ombre Stitches. And you're getting, again, 12 spools of 50 weight cotton thread, all from Aurifil. That's 1,422 yards on each. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. You've got some variegated shades in there. Uh, four of these are variegated. You've got a pink variegated. This is actually sort of shades of kind of tan and um, like a sort of mid grayish brown. Very, very good neutral, that one. That would work incredibly well with the monochrome collection we had from Tim Holtz this morning. Or really any kind of uh, creamy backgrounds uh, would work well. Then we've also got this one right here. Let me just show you. I'll move that over. Is that a little bit better? There we go. Uh, this one right here is a lovely uh, variegated kind of yellows, buttery yellow, kind of through to almost like an egg yolk. And then there's also this one which is kind of minty green and a sort of nice sea glass. That's absolutely beautiful. And then you've got another nine spools which are all solid colours. A dark and a light blue there, a peacock, turquoise, uh, a, a leaf green and a nice forest or kelly green, a deep orange, a lilac pink, a purple. Just a beautiful collection that. Really stunning. And again, 50 weight, very, very suitable. You can piece with it, of course you can, but also really, really comes into its own for things like machine quilting, applique, top stitch details. Yes, you can use this for dressmaking. You could absolutely use this for top stitch detail on garments. Great for bag making as well. $79.99 for that thread collection. It is beautiful. Very, very limited stock though. Single figures, single figures. So you will need to jump on right away. Get that in your basket and check out. Now then, we're gonna start with some motor quilts. No, we're not gonna start with motor quilts. We're gonna start with some cave quilts. I can walk and talk. <laughs> Oh, we've got one more picture of a lovely pet. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, that's Julia's tuxedo cat. Oh, beautiful. Look at that big tail. Gorgeous. Dusts as he goes. Now then, let's get cracking with our quilts. This is a K facet design. This is cotton candy pinwheels. This is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Look at that. It's an absolute riot of beautiful candy pinks, bubblegum pinks, mixed with a good old measure of blues and lilacs. There's a little bit of gray in there, but that wonderful warm candy pink really sings. All K facet. Uh, studio fabrics used throughout. There's a fantastic couple of borders on this as well. This beautiful turquoise pink, um, that's a Brandon Mabley who's part of the K Facet Collective. And then that wonderful extravagant floral in the outer border. And that one I think is uh, Philip Jacobs. Now this is available with split pay, two payments of $59.99. Sorry, my face just creeping in there. Interest-free payments, of course. Great way to spread the cost and get this kit home and start working on it. What a fantastic project for working on over the autumn and winter. Now, size-wise, this is 201 centimetres square. You'll need to add your own backing to this. 
So I'll just show you, if I may, just show you what's been put on the back of this, which is rather fabulous, isn't it? It's a little bit, <laughs> a little bit special. That's a cafe. But you could also back this with one of our extra wides, which would also work really well. But a stunning, stunning quilt, this. And it's called the Cotton Candy Pinwheels. <laughs> Excuse me, because Cotton Candy is what Americans call candy floss. And it's got that lovely kind of candy floss pink to it, hasn't it? But of course, in, in Cave's Inimitable Style, you've got every shade of pink there, from salmon through to cranberry, with all sorts of different shades in, in between, baby pinks cotton candy pink, bubblegum pink, all mixed in. It is a really, really stunning quilt. Now, in terms of what level quilt is this, it's absolutely beginner level. Uh, there's nothing about any of the piecing there that would, that would be difficult for a beginner. You've got some simple strip piecing, you've got some half square triangles and you're gonna put them together. Um, it's only the size of it which will make it a little bit more work, a little bit more time. And when you come to quilt it, um, just requiring a little bit more sort of dexterity to manage that whole thing. It's the biggest quilt that we've got available in today's show um, and by CAFE, of course. $179.99. Surely to become an heirloom in your family. It all comes beautifully packaged like this in this wonderful uh, box, presentation box. So if you wanted to gift this to somebody, I mean, what an extra special present. Maybe you're watching the show at the moment with someone special and you'd like to buy this for them for Christmas. Um, just, I think this would be a really good time to ask for a cup of tea, yeah, or something, um, or, or just, uh, you know, if you've got the app, uh, just pop out, tap the app, little purchase, Christmas done, Christmas present done, and for all those of you who are challenged in the gift wrapping department, <laughs> that's me, um, easy to wrap. <laughs> I'm always looking for easy to wrap. Now, all of these kits are exclusive to Sewer Street. You know, you might be able to get them kitted up by another shop, but all boxed up like, all boxed up like this, um, exclusive to Sewing Street. You won't find this anywhere else. Beautiful selection of fabrics there from Kaif. Now we've got some more Kaif. Let's start with Peach Sunset. It's a gorgeous quilt, this. Again, it's boxed. Um, this is absolutely my colours. Those beautiful oranges, peaches, almost like a sunset orange red, that glowing yellowy orange in there as well. I absolutely love that striped border as well. I've got this quilt to show you. I'm just going to grab it and show you the finished quilt. It is an absolute stunner. And again, using all K facet fabrics, I'm just wondering if the easiest thing is to kind of throw this over the desk so you can really see what you're getting here. How stunning is that? It is absolutely beautiful. Um, easy enough for a beginner to piece and exciting enough for the most experienced quilter to enjoy making. I mean, it's an absolute riot, isn't it? Of warm, rich fireside colours. Now, if you have a look back on YouTube, there is a demonstration on this quilt. The 27th of August at 9am, you can re-watch that show as many times as you like, just to give you a flavour of how this quilt is pieced. But it is very, very simple piecing. It's a simple rectangular block with sashing around it. Come together really quickly. But what I love about this design is that it really makes the most of the fabric. It shows off each piece of fabric to its best advantage. You know, one of the things I hear people say, and I say it about K-facet fabrics all the time, is they're too good to cut up. I want to just leave it as a whole piece of fabric. Well, this quilt really highlights each design. Absolutely stunning. 
Do you know what? Let's hear from Kaif. Kaif. The quilts, we're going to be selling kits to make some of the quilts in the book, sadly not all of them. Um, and we talked, we talked about this one. Yeah. I love the cottage garden flowers. I think that's my favourite. What was your right. inspiration for that one? Well, uh, first I of all, I have. love Snowball. That, 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 that's yeah. one of the great... Um, OK. One Get of me. the great... Um, <laughs> That's it. Yes. There we are. Yes, we couldn't we get them all. This is all called rounders. Instant TV. Instant uh, TV. Yeah. So this is this is taking you know big fussy cut flowers, yes. and making this snowball design where you cut the corner off of your uh, flower print, mm. and you make it round uh, or, or appear to be round, and there's something about. Um, that that's very exciting, and then the scale of these. You know, I have big flowers, so being able to you know zero in on a flower. Or so when you fussy cabin. cut these, are you quite yeah. specific? You know, or do you say to people just cut them wherever you want, or do you really want them to position the you flowers? You can cut wherever you want. These have been cut less specifically than I would have done myself personally, but even so, it still is very flowery and exciting. But if people want to see how it really is, come to the festival, and I've got a, yes. you know my original one. Oh, okay. The original, and you can see the way I zeroed in and very carefully cut around a big flower to make it really because bullseye. Because these hexagons are big, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, you know, and and sometimes you know getting three quarters of a flower or half a flower is just as effective. Mm. But yeah. I like to zero in. Bang onto on the it. big one. So this yeah. would be quite good for beginners as well, isn't it? Once you've worked yes, out the snowball. Very, balling. very simple. You know, we do a workshop on this where we just have people put up squares of fabric mm. and then they take the little corner bits and put it on. And it's so quick and easy. And you just sew those on the corner of your square and, and you've got done. your quilt. Um, another one we're doing is the ancient glades, which is behind you. And I yes. love that one because yes. it's so green. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. You know, it's very interesting. Two young fellows were hanging our exhibition, and we said to them, do you like any of the quilts that you're hanging? And this one guy said, oh, the one I love is ancient clay. Exactly. And he said, it's so intriguing. He said, every time I look at it, I see something different. And it's true that there's, it's more subtle, more... You know, what I responded to with this was the mossiness of England. It will. That's due yeah. to the wetness. Yes. But, but you know, the beautiful side of that wet mm -hmm. is you get these beautiful patches of moss and lichens and things growing that are so beautiful. And we found these beautiful old gates in this forest. Yes, now to the photos in the book, isn't against. it? Oh, we my should, God. Um, it was the most fabulous setting. Be beautiful. I think uh, it's probably my yeah. favourite photo, yeah. which is why yeah. I don't know whether you can yeah. hold it's it up to just show. Just wonderful. Look at that. Um, Those gates are just... And you see, I, th you know, just th making us think about the mossiness and the mm. beautiful subtlety of colour. I mean, the, the thing about England is it has these very often overcast skies, <laughs> so you get lovely, mm. subtle colour. The gardens become enchanted for me. When I'm used to very harsh, hard light in California, and, it, you know, it... It really does away with the subtlety of mm. color. It's very hard to see subtleties. But here in this light, it, one English woman said to me, I love England, it has a pearly light. A pearly light. We think isn't of it lovely? as a gray drizzling light. <laughs> <laughs> so that's quite nice, But I love it? It. it. To me, it is pearly. Um, what was one of the others? Oh, the dark watermelon. So we have that yes. one there. Yeah. And is it called that because of the watermelons on it? That's right, exactly. Particularly, you know, here we've got um, in the center, yeah, these you'll notice this mm, big panel of, of uh, watermelons. Mm. And it's all quilted around. I mean, watermelons yeah. are really popular as a theme at the moment, but the, the color choice is well, so yeah, different. And, and also, it's natural stripes. So you get these yeah, wonderful true, stripes true. happening. Um, leafy diamonds. We have... I've seen leafy diamonds around. Oh, I think you, I'm sitting you, on... You're I'm sitting, sitting on, on leafy diamonds. So what was the inspiration behind that one? Um, I love diamond shapes because, you know, you can put a big flower print or a big leaf print into a diamond shape and it's very stunning. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I, I do a lot of diamond shape quilts. Is that good for the sort of the fussy cutting and the placement of the print then? The yes, diamond? it can be. Or, or you can do it any old way. You know, I like a big overall print that you yes. can just chop it 
And then oh. finally, I think the cotton candy pinwheels, which is the yeah. one on our table that we yes. talked about. Be it's beautiful, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, I love soft, dusty pinks. And, you know, there is just Could something so wonderful. I know. <laughs> we don't want to I'm going to put them on the floor. It's going to be a very wet quilt, isn't it? But anyway, yeah. So I, I, I've, I had a lovely time with the palette of this. The fabulous, fabulous K facet. There is only one of him. But we have got all sorts of beautiful quilt kits from that man, K facet. Uh, you can watch the whole interview, by the way, if you search for it on YouTube. Now, just to recap, the Peach Sunset uh, quilt, absolutely gorgeous, this one, full of fireside autumn colours, lovely range of oranges and golds, really beautiful, nice simple piecing. The finished quilt is 146 centimetres by 185 centimetres, easy enough for a beginner to piece. For 129.99, you're getting all the fabrics you need for the quilt top. You just need to add a backing and some batting. Really beautiful, that. Really, really lovely. Gorgeous. Now, the next one we actually saw in that um, interview with Kaif, um, and it is the Cottage Garden quilt, which is based around, oh, this is stunning, based around the snowball block. So again, it's a very, very easy to piece quilt, but the results are incredible look at that oh i mean i love what quilt uh, what cave does um this one makes my heart sing this makes me think of you know the chinoiserie um uh, like massage balls that you can get chinese balls or they're meditation balls not massage balls you kind of roll in your hands um, and they have chinoiserie. This reminds me of those. It's all those beautiful, elegant florals. That incredible sky blue uh, fabric in the background. Now, don't be alarmed. If you look at this and think, hang on, those octagons with the squares inset look really hard to piece. That's how it looks. But when you look more closely, you'll see that it's actually a big square of fabric in the centre with four triangles stitched onto the corners and then those four triangles come together. Um, it's a really simple to piece block. Now this was demonstrated on the 11th of August at 8am so if you want to watch back and see how easy it is to piece a snowball uh, then you can. This whole quilt kit, I would not know where to start collecting these fabrics together to make this quilt, but I would want to make this exact quilt. Well, you can with our kit. It's an exclusive here at Sewing Street for $179.99 to make a quilt, which I think literally anybody would say, wow, at. It is a real wow quilt, this. It is just beautiful. This would go in my garden room, draped over the back of a sofa in there. It's one of Mrs. Mill's favourite spots to nap. Um, uh, me too, actually. We often have a little nap in there together. Good afternoon nap. You can't beat it, can you? Little power nap. Little power nap. Oh, I only ever have like 15 to 20 minutes. Any more than that, and I wake up feeling a bit Oh, feel a bit yucky and then have to have something like a Snickers, which isn't good. Just a beautiful quilt, this. Um, that's the kit right there for that. It's Kaif's uh, Cottage Garden. Now let's do, and our next one is called Chilled, um, which sounds like it might be something kind of cool colours and, you know, something quite discreet <laughs> but this is Kaif come on this is Kaif so it's anything but now this is available on split pay this is rich this is really oh and it's big do you think Kaif was being a little ironic when he called this chilled <laughs> I think he probably was uh, it's absolutely lovely isn't it um, very, very simple to piece. This is essentially a rail fence quilt. So you're sewing strips together to create the blocks. 
and then cutting the blocks and then twisting them this way and that. It's a fabulous collection of pinks and oranges and purples really joyful. Now it's the most affordable option that we've got from CAFE on the show today. It's less than £100, £99.99. We've even thrown in two split pays for you uh, so that you can get it home for only £49.99. Very limited stock. Remember you're getting all the fabrics for the quilt top including that wonderful, those wonderful setting triangles as well that turn everything on point. It's a good size as well, this quilt. It's 140 by 175 centimetres. Now, there's a full demonstration on YouTube on the 22nd of August. So you can re-watch that if you'd like, uh, um, just to see how easy it is to piece uh, and how chilled you'll be piecing Cave's chilled quilt. That is a really beautiful quilt. That is stunning, isn't it? And producer Haley and I were both saying about how... Um, soft and um, beautiful the fabrics feel and the quilts feel. Um, Kaif insists on his fabrics being a finer weave and a lighter weight cotton so they have a really soft handle to them. Um, they, they feel you know in fabrics some fabrics can be a bit stiff and a bit hard and then when you wash them they become a bit more fluid. Cave's fabrics already feel like that. They feel soft and fluid, but they're still 100% cotton, really easy to piece, really easy to put together. And the colours are so intense, really beautiful. So that's the chilled quilt kit. And remember that you're getting everything you need in that box. It is, makes it so easy. Uh, a wonderful accent of colour. Maybe your house is very neutral and plain and you want to jazz it up. Maybe your house is, like mine, a riot of colour and pattern and richness. Um, this is going to fit beautifully into either decor. Now then, maybe you are more into moda. We've got some moda designs here. Now we're going to start with one of my absolute favourites. This is the Moda Sanctuary quilt. Uh, this is really lovely. This is really lovely. This is by Three Sisters. We haven't got the quilt to show um, in, the, in the studio, but we have got this incredible picture of it. So the quilt is a feathered star. So we're much more now into an intermediate to more advanced quilter. So there's some a more intricate piecing here to create those feathers. However, if you're a confident um, quilter and you've made a few quilts and you're, or you're happy to put in a little bit of extra time, what a magnificent quilt to make. And it's got a lovely scrappy look to it, but it's using um, a beautiful range from Three Sisters called Sanctuary. It is absolutely stunning, this. Um, am I allowed, can I open this one? Because this is absolutely, oh. oh, 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 oh. Now this is why you buy a kit. This is why you buy a kit. And I don't open these boxes before the show because I want my reaction to be, to be natural and normal and genuine. Um, just look at this, look at this. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. Um, and this is, you know, when you go to a quilt show and you sort of think, oh, I just want to go away with a bit of everything. And that's what you've got in this wonderful pack. Look at all these different fabrics. Exactly what you need to make the quilt. All bundled together. I mean, look at that lot. Look at all of that. Now, now, producer Haley is saying I can open this, but I'm only opening it if I'm allowed to take it home. <laughs> which I'm not allowed to do. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. So you're getting all of those fabrics. It's a wonderful collection of soft pinks, very pale aqua. You've got some grey in there as well. So it's a lovely, it's a kind of shabby chic look, isn't it? It would look wonderful in a bedroom that was just all white, you know, all painted white, white furniture, white walls, and then just this wonderful bit of muted colour. But it's not wishy-washy. You've got those lovely kind of madder reds. 
and that lovely bit of light aqua, light to medium aqua. So it's got plenty going on in it, but it's soft, it's gentle, it's easy to live with. And then you're also getting, of course, all your instructions. So really, really detailed cutting instructions, detailed piecing instructions too. I mean, when I talked earlier on about the piecing for this being a little bit more advanced, it's half square triangles, basically. It's half square triangles. There are a few diamonds, but not many. It's the kind of thing that will help you to move your quilting on. So if you've done half square triangles, square strips, that kind of thing, absolutely ready for this. Good layout diagrams too. I love the fact that it's just four big blocks to make this quilt. It's 72 inches square. So this would be like a massive wall quilt. It would be a, a huge sofa throw, but it would also be a great topper for a double or a queen size bed. So, for example, if you already had something on the bed like a whole cloth, maybe a nine patch, something simple, you could then put this as a topper on the top. That would be really nice. Absolutely stunning that. Yes, please. $159.99 is three split pays of $53.33, uh, which means you can get it home for less than £54 and get cracking. <coughs> Excuse me. That is the Moda Sanctuary Peace Quilt. It's just lovely. Now then, we've got another, the Cottage Bleu. I think this is absolutely stunning. This is where traditional meets modern because the piecing, half square triangles, flying geese, and the, the, the fabrics too, quite a traditional look. But then it's in a much more exciting, more modern setting, this wonderful large scale quilt. 15th of September, this was demoed. Oh, I beg your pardon, the 16th of September, this was demoed. So if you want to watch back on YouTube, you can watch this being demoed. This is a very affordable kit, this. 99.99, two split pays of 49.99. And again, I'm just going to show you what you get inside. These are wonderful kits from Moda. And the brilliant thing is you're getting everything you need. Now inside, you've got your pattern, of course. The quilt is called Wind Drifter, which is a great name. Um, the size wise uh, for this quilt is 65 inches square. You're also getting instructions for a small quilt, which is 32 and 3 quarter inches square absolutely lovely and then you're getting all your fabrics now i'll put these to one side for a second i'll tell you what those are in a minute but you're getting all those beautiful fabrics so all these different fabrics from cottage blur by robin pickens i hope we're going to get robin pickens new fabric range because i've just seen that and it is absolutely out of this world gorgeous selection of turquoise aqua lime green and blue fabrics there You've also got your tone on tone. This is a cream and white print, which is your background. So you've got all those fabrics and then you're getting a roll of these and these are called triangles on a roll. Now, if you've ever struggled to get really accurate half square triangles, struggle no more. What you do with this is you cut your fabric into wide strips and you layer it up right sides together, your background and your main fabric. And then you lay this uh, paper roll over the top of your fabric and pin it in place. It has stitching lines for you to sew on and you sew in like a zigzag all along the outside edges and then you cut and that's it. Take the paper off and your half square triangles are done. They don't need trimming, they're perfect and it makes making the whole quilt a lot easier and a lot more accurate. So you're getting all of that, all of the fabric, your triangles on a roll, your pattern, which of course you can use again and again and again, and even instructions for using those triangles on a roll. All in a beautiful box for under a hundred pound. That is stunning, absolutely stunning. There's the finished quilt, which I just think looks magnificent. It is lovely. It's a nice, bold design. Again, if you had a very, very plain bedroom and you wanted to put that behind the bed, what about a refresh before Christmas? The guest bedroom, that would be lovely. 
It's really going to work anywhere in your home. It would be great in a garden room or in a conservatory too. I was just about to say you could picnic on it, but I, I wouldn't like to say throw that on the lawn and sit on it, but you could. It is lovely. It is really lovely. Stunning that, that's the Cottage Bleu by Robin Pickens for Moda. Now we've one more Moda kit to show you. This is a fab design. This is one This is one for children, I think. Well, children or adults who are into aeroplanes. <laughs> it's uh, from the On The Go range. Uh, it's On The Go, this quilt. I think this is lovely. What a fun quilt. So you've got piecing to create the, the sort of... Um, is it the exhaust fumes, I guess you'd call this? Or are they like red arrows? Is this the paint that goes out in the sky? Is that paint or is it coloured smoke? It's coloured smoke, isn't it? What am I talking about? <laughs> Every time the red arrows go over, they spray paint over the people watching. <laughs> wow, look at this. Now I bought this range of fabric because I have a few baby quilts to make. This quilt is 61 inches by 72. So actually that is a really good size, very good size for a single bed. You could top a double as well. And what you're getting in there is all the fabrics that you need to create the coloured stripes. And then you've also got this fabric right here, which you create the aeroplanes from. They're pieced. And then you've also got uh, another fabric from the range, uh, this white on white print, which you're going to use for the background. It's a really strong graphic design, isn't it, this? Absolutely terrific if you've got somebody in your family who's mad about aeroplanes. Um, if you want to make a really special quilt. Now, this is like a printed version just to show you how the quilt would look this isn't um what you're getting it's actually you piece it but this just gives you an idea of how it would look amazing price 99.99 amazing price but as an extra little treat today as an extra little treat we're going to crash that price we're going to crash that price Now we're going to keep the split pay, even though technically we shouldn't, but we're going to... Oh, look at that. There we go. That's more like it. $79.99. So two interest-free payments of $39.99 to get that kit home. Absolutely fab. It's a big quilt, this one. 61 inches by 72. That's a really good size quilt. You could, of course buy some extra fabric, maybe like a grey, and put a border around it if you wanted to make it even bigger. But you're getting everything in the quilt kit there to make that 61 by 72 inch quilt top. Brill, lots of you buying this. Lots of you going for this. Don't worry if you'd already put it in your basket at 99.99. We all still get it for 79.99. That's fab. That is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I bought this whole range because I've got a couple of friends who've had babies and um, I thought it would make a great quilt for a baby, but also for older children as well. Um, you could absolutely make that for a teen, couldn't you? Or an adult, of course. Gorge. What about someone who's going to university or somebody's already gone? Um, that would look great, wouldn't it? On a dormitory wall or over on the bed, or if someone's going on world travels, would you take your own quilt? To be fair, I take a quilt and pillows with me whenever I stay away from home, which is a lot, because especially the pillows, um, that is very particular, isn't it? Your head gets used to the certain softness or firmness. So I always take my pillows, but I always take a patchwork quilt with me whenever I travel so that I've got something from home on the bed. Just makes me feel like I'm a little bit more at home. At the moment on my bed in my hotel, I have got Covent Garden, which is from Make A Hundred Quilts. Mm. Mm. It's a good traveling quilt. <laughs> Now, the price on that, although we've dropped it to $79.99, we've only dropped it for today. So at midnight, it's going to rise back up to $99.99. We've kept the two split pays, even though we've dropped the price. 
So two split pays of $39.99 will get you the on-the-go quilt kit, all beautifully boxed, with your instructions as well. Now then, Dina Designs next. Dina Designs. This is a beautiful, beautiful quilt. I've got it right here. It's the green, isn't it? It's this one. Oh, I'm just going to grab the... Stay there. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm back. I'm back. There it is. <laughs> we are really, really limited stock on this. We've got seven in stock. I would rather like one of those, which would make that six in stock. But I will let you have first dibs. But I've been looking at this quilt kit for weeks, thinking, oh, I do love that. I mean, I love the picture on the box. I think it looks gorgeous. But when you actually see the finished quilt, now I'm really sold. I'm just going to step back a moment and just... This is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. I don't think the camera does it justice. It's just lovely. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. And this has been so popular with everyone in the office. I think that's where all the other <laughs> kits that we had have gone. Really beautiful. I think we'd all fight over this one if we were allowed to keep it. But I can make my own, you see, so I should leave this to someone else. But that is lovely. There are only five left now. Oh, leave one for me. <laughs> that is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, don't be put off. It's easy piecing. It's half square triangles. That's all. Now, if you, 2nd of September, if you have a look back on YouTube, you can watch a demonstration of this being made, but trust me, it's just half square triangles. There's four left now. This is like auction TV, isn't it? There are four, there are four, there are four. There are only four left. <laughs> if everyone checks out, there's only three now. Can my mum buy this, please, for me? <laughs> Mum does watch. Mum does watch. Morning, Mum. How are you? I was joking. Don't buy it. <laughs> I'll buy it if I get the chance to. It is lovely. And again, it's got that kind of little bit shabby chic look. But where often shabby chic is very much on the pink spectrum, this is lovely because you've got all those really lovely, fresh greens and aquas, a little bit of turquoise there, just a little hint of pink as well. So it's soft. It's feminine. It's very, very pretty. Very pretty. And I love how when four blocks come together, you get, can you see this pinwheel here? This pinwheel comes together right here where four blocks meet. And you almost get like a secondary block appearing. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. Now that's one hundred and thirty nine ninety nine. You're getting all of the fabrics that you need for your quilt in the box. You just need to add something for the backing and some batting, of course. Sixty nine ninety nine. Two split pays. Interest free. I'll show you the box. It comes in as well because you might be buying this for a gift. Um, where did I? Put it there it is there it is and it's a big old box there's a lot of fabric in there there is a lot of fabric in there everything you need in there in order to make this quilt by Dina designs it's 59 inches square I've got a quilt hanger wooden quilt hanger that takes quilts up to 64 inches behind one of the beds at home and this would go absolutely beautifully uh, on the wall behind a bed really lovely uh, all of the fabrics are from free spirit so you know you're getting really good quality fabric there and in including the solid there's a beautiful kind of minty green solid in there and that's also from free spirit so wonderful quality fabrics everything you need for the top you just need to add the backing and the batting we're very limited now very very limited 
I'm going to move that quilt out of the way. If nothing else, can I keep the quilt? No. Sounds like a no. Make your own. <laughs> Maybe make your own. Ah, oh, Hayley's saying we could share it, have it six months each, like co-parent the quilt. <laughs> I want it at weekends. Now then, we have a village fa uh, lovely quilt kit from Village Fabrics. Um, it is the Sailboats quilt kit. Let's have a little look. How cute is that? Now, the lovely Village Fabrics, we adore Village Fabrics, um, always put together a great quilt kit. Now, this was demonstrated back in June, the 22nd. There it is. Oh, it's lovely. Love the quilting on that too. Look, just ripple quilting for the waves and little clouds quilted. It's so effective. And then nice, easy piecing with some really fun fabrics. Gorgeous chalky stripe border there from Macawa. These are lovely quality fabrics. Boats on boats, double boats. I love double boats. Look at that. Great. I mean, everyone knows somebody who's got, you know, their heart at the, on the coast. Um, it's a great children's quilt, of course. It's a lovely children's quilt. But it would also be great if you're lucky enough to have a little caravan by the seaside or a little cottage or a little apartment, something like that, a little holiday home. Very, very nice for that. <laughs> now, this quilt is 33 and a half inches by 41 and a half inches. So lovely for a wall quilt, big baby quilt, big cot quilt, very nice. Also would make a really nice accent quilt for the back of a sofa or um, an armchair. Very, very nice. You're getting everything you need. £46.99, everything for the front of that quilt. You're just going to add your own backing and batting. Very affordable, that one. Skill level wise, um, confident beginner, confident beginner. I mean, it uses the most basic piecing there, so nothing challenging. That is just lovely. Great, love that. That's sailboats. <laughs> we've got a few more. We've got a few more. Now, we've got a lovely uh, quilt for Christmas from Alison Marion. Now, I did a lovely morning with Alison Marion a couple of weeks ago, and then I was at Ali Pally last week down in London, and who should tap me on the shoulder but the lady herself. So we had a lovely little catch-up, and her husband Mike was there as well, and uh, it was just great. Now this, what a wonderful, what a wonderful quilt for Christmas in particular, I think. Um, we all love a Christmas quilt, and it's a great intention to have, isn't it? I'm gonna make a quilt for Christmas. But this is a really fast to make quilt. Really fast to make quilt. Now, this is exclusive to us at Sewing Street. What you're getting there is you're getting full instructions for the twisted quilt. You're getting a panel that's exclusive and you're also getting your coordinating fabric. Now I don't have the panel with me but let me just say that what's clever about this quilt, it's a very very clever use of a panel, is that where you look like you've got piecing like between these strips and between here and between here, this is actually using the panel uh, so you're not piecing those together. Let me show you the actual panel. This is gorgeous. Oh, this is lovely. Wow. Wow. There's so much there. Look at that. So what Alison's done here is, is actually cut out sections that cover two strips together. So it looks like they're already pieced. Now, Alison has told us that you can actually piece this quilt top in under an hour. That, <laughs> look at that. That is amazing. Now, there's a full demonstration on the 20th of October last year, 2020. Um, so we've waited a long time to get this back in stock. But that is fantastic. 
<laughs> what a brilliant design. Pieced in under an hour, um, layered and quilted or even tied. You could layer that and tie that over the autumn and then you've got your Christmas quilt. Something to bring out every year. What a clever, clever idea. That's the Alison Marion Twisted Strips panel and pattern in a Christmas green colourway. That is lush. Clever. Clever. You're getting a metre of fabric. Now, the, the version you're getting has green, yeah, not red. So there's a green to use. Ah, the green, the green. Look at that, the magic of television. <laughs> So you're getting this wonderful green rather than the red. Um, so you're going to use this for the squares in your block and also for the border. But look how well that goes with that panel. Absolutely beautiful. So if you want to make your first ever Christmas quilt or you fancy making a quick Christmas quilt as a gift to someone, this is brilliant. $32.99 for the panel, the fabric, the instructions, everything to make that quilt. And apparently, apparently, under an hour. Amazing. You could spend a weekend making, you could spend two weeks making it if you want. There's no rushes there. I'm gonna just fold that up. That's lovely. Love Alison's designs. Now then, we've also got a lovely quilt made by Jules. Let me pop that to one side, and that's right here. Oh, Christine said, oh, I'd let you keep it, Stuart, the quilt. See, Christine would let me have it. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. Now, this is a red. We've got a, a blue option available. Let me just grab that. So... This is the Christmas poinsettia tree lap quilt pattern. Okay, so this is the pattern that we've got. And then we've got the Christmas blue panel to go with. So we haven't got the red, it's the blue that we've got. And these are lovely Christmassy fabrics. Exclusive to Sewing Street, little robins, plaids, snowflakes. Beautiful. That's really lovely, isn't it? So it's like getting a big design roll on a panel. Lovely. That is gorgeous. I like that. The Christmas Poinsettia Tree Lap Quilt by Jules Mayuf. Let me show you again that lovely quilt that you can make using that design. It's really lovely. It's a great idea. So it's using stars... Now you're also getting, as well as that panel and also the um, pattern itself, you're getting a metre of white, solid white as well. So that's really good value, under £30. Under £30 for all of that. That's going to be for your background, the white. And then you've got your panel to create all of your half square triangles for those little stars. And then the whole thing together makes a Christmas tree. Maybe you're a bit restricted on space where you live. Or maybe you're going away in the caravan for Christmas and you want to have a little, like, different Christmas tree uh, that you can hang on the wall. This would be a great little pattern to do. Smashing. Love that. Now, walk with me, walk with me. The Cave Pinwheels, the candy cotton, cotton candy even, super, super popular this one. It's gone down an absolute storm with you. It's our largest cave quilt that we've got on the show today. It's a cotton candy pinwheels. Um, I call that candy floss. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Really lovely. Very simply pieced, some strip piecing, some half square triangles. You can watch a demonstration on the 6th of October this year if you want to see how that quilt's put together. But it's stunning. 210 centimetres squared, I think. No, 201. 201 centimetres squared. Really good size. There's the kit for it. It's been a 
fab hour rounding up all those wonderful kits. I will see you in a very short while after this break. Don't go anywhere, will you? Stay with me. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. I'm so excited to tell you about Yarn Lane's Mystery Christmas Crochet Along, or CAL for short. Whether you're a crochet beginner or more experienced, you are going to love this project. As it builds each week into a beautiful, traditional Christmas blanket. But, now this is the mystery part. To keep you guessing, and to make it fun, we're going to keep the finished design a secret. So you'll only know what the finished blanket looks like at the very end when you add the border. We have set up a special members only Facebook group where we'll be posting the next set of instructions each week and you can ask me and Wendy Orlando, our star designer, any questions. It's going to be such a great community. So head to www.yarnlane.com for more details of how it all works and to buy your kit to join in with the Christmas cow fun. Hello, my name is Fiona Hisford, also known as So Girl. I'm based in Worthing on the south coast of England and I work in my lovely garden studio, which is where I am right now. So uh, my sewing journey began as a child. Uh, my mother used to had surround the house with Laura Ashley fabrics and wallpapers and I used to patch together some of the scraps and uh, make little quilts for myself and uh, dolls clothes and things like that. So one of my top tips in dressmaking would be to definitely make a toile before you start. Uh, sometimes uh, if you're using expensive fabric it's a good idea to make some make the garments in a sheet or a cheap fabric just so that you're absolutely sure of the fit. An interesting fact about me is that I used to be a knitwear designer back in the 80s and once I made a jumper for the singer Sade which was really exciting. Uh, I worked in Paris for six years and when I came back I fell back in love with fabric again and I started working with magazines and books and writing projects for them and that led eventually on to me designing my own collection of dressmaking patterns. Uh, my philosophy is that I love comfortable clothing every day, things that are easy to make, easy to wear. I like modelling my clothes myself and I wear pretty much everything that I design. So I always think that if I feel good in them, then other people will. I've been working for Sewing Street since it's been, since, almost since it began, and I love it there. We're like one big family, and I'm on the show about every two, mo two months, and so I look forward to seeing you on the next show soon. Bye. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. 
Not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. My, look how I've grown. I'm perched on a stool, it's lovely. Oh, hello there. How's your Tuesday going? Hello. How's your Tuesday going? What's the weather doing outside? I've been inside the studio since it was dark this morning. I have no idea what's going on outside. What's it like in your part of the world? Do let us know what you're doing, won't you, today? Are you sewing while you watch? Are you doing a bit of knitting? I've had a lovely message from Christine, who's enjoying the shows while making table runners for a friend's wedding. Listen to this. Ten down, ten to go. Christine, I salute you. What a friend you are. Goodness me. Uh, lots of you watching. Um, Kate, thank you for your support. Kate thinks I should be allowed to keep my choice of quilt from the last hour and is organising a vote. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Well, we've got a great hour for you now. Uh, we've got a wonderful guest, Cara, is back for another hour and we've got a wonderful, wonderful project. I'm very, very keen, Cara, on these slow stitching projects. Projects that give us a chance to and a reason to sit down in an armchair with a cuppa or whatever you enjoy while you're doing some crafting and then just sitting down and enjoying a little bit of me time. Now this is just the most wonderful keep calm and buy flowers cushion cover. It is lovely isn't it? Beautiful bit of hand stitching in the centre there and then a bit of easy piecing around the design to finish it off into a cushion. Now there's two different colour options coming up and also a great deal for buying both. Let me show you that cushion. It is such a lovely piece of work. Kari, you made this, didn't you? I did. It's lovely. Can I keep this too, please? Um, if you want to, it's a snuggly one. <laughs> oh, it is a snuggly one. It's a plumptious cushion and um, I love, actually, is that a bound? Oh no, it's not a bound edge. It's like, um, no, it's like it's an Oxford. Um, um, Very it's, nice. It's just, um, around the uh... that is lovely so it's got almost like a faux uh, piped edge around the outside love that a um, beautiful detail on this you've got some really lovely back stitch embroidery in this center panel so you're getting everything that you need here you're getting all of the threads you're getting the fabric the design of course and then all of these lovely fabrics to create the patchwork around the outside now, if you fancy buying the pattern on its own for that project, you can. I'm going to grab it down right here. It's $9.99. It's so with Beth. It's the Keep Calm and Buy Flowers cushion. What a great sentiment. There it is. There it is. Oh, my eyes, my eyes. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's like being at the opticians, isn't it? <laughs> Clearer with number two, with the red or the green. So with Beth. So this is our patchwork and embroidered cushion. Um, you're getting full instructions here. The finished cushion itself is 20 inches square. You're getting full instructions there, including a full size design for the embroidery and instructions on how to work the embroidery and make the patchwork as well, and then create it into a cushion. So that's $9.99. Now, Today we have got a discount bundle. I love a discount bundle. So what we've got right here is two options. So I'm just going to turn these over. So here's the grey version. And then this is the version that Cara made, which is the pink and green combination with the black. Now what you're getting here in this bundle is you're purchasing both. So here's the code to purchase both. You're saving £10 by buying both kits together. You're getting these for £39.99 which is a saving of £10. And then you can also if you prefer buy them individually. 
So here's the version that Kara's made, which is the pink and the green version with the black. And if you have a look on screen, any minute now, <laughs> I'm going to just, it's AGBY83. <coughs> Excuse me. You're getting your embroidery floss, you're getting your background fabric for your embroidery, you're getting your floral, your green, your black, you're even getting a needle to do your embroidery with. Um, there are the, there are the uh, graphics up there now, £24.99 to get the green and pink kit. Really pretty, and that's teamed with black. This is the version, you can see it right now, this is the version that Cara made. And it is absolutely sumptuous. It's such a beautiful cushion. You're getting a lot in the kit. You're getting everything you need, not just to make the cushion front, but also enough to make the cushion back as well. Um, this is a, an envelope back, but you could also do a zip back. So this is a simple envelope back cushion. All right. So there you've got a little opening. But, <laughs> or you could also do a zip there as well very very simple that is just such a gorgeous cushion really lovely now then let's have an actual look at the kit and see what we get inside this is the gray version which is also 29.99 but don't forget if you've a mind to you could get a bargain and get both kits together the gray and the black and then you're making a saving of 10 pounds hmm. Right then, let's have a look and see what you're getting. So you're getting your embroidery floss, you're getting three different embroidery flosses, a gorgeous variegated uh, for your flowers, and then you're also getting uh, a solid green, and then you're also getting this lovely gray, which is to work the um, watering can and the words with. So that's that. You're getting your needle, uh, background fabric. This is to do your embroidery on. And then you're also getting all of the fabrics that you'll need to do your piecing. So you've got uh, this lovely grey here. Oh, hello. There's a little charm in there as well. That's cute. Handmade. So you can stitch that onto your project. And then you're also getting a big piece of grey. Here's... Oh, now that's lovely. That is lovely. That is really nice. And then, of course, you're getting your full instructions as well. Nice and detailed. Really step-by-step -step instructions there. That's beautiful, isn't it? I love that combination of greys and a little bit of mustard yellow in there as well. It's stunning. Really lovely, that. Well, what we really need to see, Cara, please, from you... <laughs> is a lovely demo so tell us where to start um well i'll explain about the extra calico as oh, well yes. in the um pack I did so wonder. yeah so you've got the cotton fabric um but then you've got another piece of calico to put behind the cotton fabric that you're going to stitch on and i like that oh. actually so you have two layers that you're going to be stitching through and they're both fabric rather than interfacing Quite often when I do embroidery, I'll put medium weight interfacing, which is nice, mm -hmm. but actually two lots of um, fabric is, is just different. It gives a different feel and everything. Yeah, you get a nice weight, don't you, you do. then? A nice stability. I was just, I was holding this <laughs> pulling, up and waving faces. it at car as they say, what's this for? But this is all extra fabric to, um, to back the whole thing. Uh, lovely. So, yeah, the other piece, the larger piece, yeah is if you want to do any quilting. Oh, fantastic. So, so you've, you've actually, that. you know, you, you make your panel, which you can see there, but then you can also put um, some wadding. I use some H640. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have the calico to put behind that. And then you can do some quilting. That's a I, nice extra, that yeah, colour, isn't I did it? very straightforward quilting. I just... Um, just stitched along the straight edges. I didn't do anything fancy, but it's lovely to have everything included. So if you did want to actually do some quilting, mm. you could do yeah. some really nice, you know, patterns. You can, you know, just play around. And also on the machines, when you've got the different stitches, you can actually do that as well. You so could add some decorative stitching, couldn't yes. you? And that H640, uh, 
that you added. What I mean, what does that do for the cushion? By it just that? gives a, it makes it more plump. Yeah. Um, more luxurious, I yeah. feel. Um, you know, so um, you can do it without, but it just adds an extra sort of layer, if you like. It does. It does. You know, the the Tim Holtz cushions that I made for this morning's show, I mm. didn't have time to put any batting on them, and. And it annoys me because they don't look as nice. They don't look as expensive, shall we say? Yeah. They don't have the same luxurious look. The other thing I think as well, as in that H640, what it does, when you sit against a cushion, it bounces back yes. better. Yeah. So the cushions look plumper and keep their shape better. Don't they? They don't crease. No, they don't crease. And, and with the one that you've got there, you can actually see from the side the depth and um, that's got a massive, um, I think, a 20 inch um, pad and that sort of adds to it as well. So if it is going to be a cushion and it's, it's fully washable yeah. um, because it's all cotton fabric, cotton thread, everything. Um, but it does bounce back beautifully. But you see, it does yes. really bounce back beautifully. Now, that H640 that Car is talking about comes in a one metre piece. It's 9 99 It is fusible on one side. Can we get two cushions out of a uh, whole um, You piece? should be able to, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think it's um, depending on the size of the cushion. The mm. other information that um, Beth includes in the pattern is that if you don't want to make a 20 inch cushion, yeah. she gives you information how to make an 18. You can, you know, if you've, if you've got cushion pads at home, you know, 16 inch, yeah. you can make them smaller. Yeah. But I just love the way that that's framed the stitch design. It oh, just, me too. Yeah, just me picks too. out the colours and everything. Yeah. So You could also turn that into a small wall hanging, couldn't you? You could, you mm. could. And going back to our previous show, you could do it for a centre of a quilt. So, um, and you know, you have all that fabric included, but if you wanted to change the actual um, appearance, yeah. um, what I um, asked was if we could have some of the other embroidery floss. Oh, yeah, so maybe nice. if you wanted something that's not quite so um, bold with the black, mm -hmm. you know, you could play around with colours. So this um, embroidery floss is fantastic um, for changing your colours. So if yeah. you want to change your colours to match your decor, um, you know, it is possible That's to a great idea. play around That's with colours. That's a great idea. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic value because you're getting 36 skeins there for 9 99 That's the pastel collection. You're getting 36 skeins. I think that gold in the centre there mm. would be lovely for the... Um, watering can yes if you wanted a softer look just soften yes. it up or one of the greys but we were going back you know again going back to um house decor and things like that mm. things are very monochrome at the moment yeah. so it is it's yeah. lovely to see something either black or gray but then equally other people have you know i, I love the colors that she's included as well which yeah, is me really too. nice it's nice so. and fresh isn't it it's it kind is. of bedroomy or garden roomy yeah so when okay. we when we get our kit home where do we start so um again make yourself a cuppa sit oh, down gosh, yes. <laughs> sit down um have a read through and beth has included so much information in in the actual pack and photographs which is great I'm very visual, so I like sort of seeing the visual side of things Me too. Um, when I'm working my way through. But again, she'll give you lots of information and, um, as I say, the photographs. So have a read through this first. And then the first job is actually cutting the fabric. So again, if you wanted to, you could label each of the pieces of fabric so that you know what's the dark one, what's the mm -hmm. medium, what's the pale. Um, which is really good. I think it might help if I actually put my glasses on so I could read what I'm looking <laughs> at. <laughs> um, so, you know, she's got all the information there of the sizes that you need to cut um, your fabric. Yeah. And then she'll take you through how you can use the template. I'll show you the template Cara, in a Cara, when you're doing a project, do you cut everything before you start? I do. Yeah. I do. I do. Do you? If I was making something like a quilt, I'd cut out one block. Yes. And I'd make one block and then I'd cut the rest out, yes. you know, just in case 
I wasn't, you know, I was doing it wrong or I'd read it wrong. Yes. But um, yeah, I think for something like this, I'd want everything all cut out ready. Yes, yes. But and of course, you know, you could just start on the stitching, couldn't you? Definitely. Work on that over the next few days or weeks and then cut the rest of the patchwork. Well, I actually took the embroidery with me on holiday oh, and sat you? and did it on holiday. How many so holidays have you had? Um, I'm not going to admit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to too You've many. Had a few, you're making too up for lost time. I you? am. We are, definitely. And we, we're with family for some of it and friends Gorgeous. for others so um all in the uk but um, but it was lovely taking something like that and um you know to sit and do some embroidery you're still chatting with everybody yeah. you're still involved in you know the whole sort of holiday side of things and i love it if you're doing something either for yourself or to give us a present um the memories that you have when you're stitching it is lovely i can remember um one year i did um a sampler for a friend's son who's now in his 30s Right. But I can remember stitching it on a beach in America, you uh, know, so yeah. every time I think about when I stitched his birth sampler, you know, I have memories of, and I'm sure everybody else is the same, you know, Those it's just wonderful to sort of have that. And, you know, you're right, having a project that you can just sit and relax. You know, we had the um, World Mental Health Day the other day. We did indeed. And, um, you know, I, I was away, so I wasn't able to sort of share my experiences. But definitely, we all need to just step back, take a breath. And if mm. you're stitching, your mind can just get on with the stitching and everything. And it's just so relaxing. It really is. Fab. So so now you've got your light box at the ready. Yes. Will you show us how to trace the design? I or certainly will. The design, I certainly be really will. Useful. This um, light box, absolutely fantastic. What a boon. If you love embroidery, a light box is such a great thing to have. This is $32.99. It's a pure light, ultra thin A4 LED light box. And if we just dim the lights, so you can see just how powerful those lights are and how they make that design pop. So no more pinning designs to your kitchen window and try it. Look oh, at that's that. nice. So you can change the intensity of the light, have no light at all, have it quite um, pale, and then a medium, and then just play around with whichever one is suitable for you. So actually, um, I put it on the highest um, Where are stage. you? Oh, I can just <laughs> see the light reflecting on your specs. <laughs> ah, gosh, that is cool, isn't it? It is good, isn't it? Really so nice. So design onto your light box. So the template onto the light box, and then I can't see what I'm doing there. Oh, there we go. There ah, we go. My eyes, my eyes. <laughs> I was just having a snooze then, Elliot. Come on. The other thing that um, actually this is lovely, this... Um, it's like um, masking tape a little yeah. bit, but the quilting t um, tape that I had in the previous show is really good because no matter how careful you are, and I've already started tracing this, so you didn't have to watch me trace everything. I'm just going to lay that on there. And if you use just a bit of this, you yeah. can actually tape it to hold it to the template. What and, a clever idea. And hold it to the light box. What a clever idea. Because it peels off and it hasn't got any adhesive that's yeah, going no to stick. Residue. Just going to move that over. Ten meters of that for six ninety nine. It's the so easy wash away quilters tape. That is such a clever idea for using that. Of course, it's great for things like quilting yes. as well, especially and hand or machine quilting. And putting zips in. Yeah, you can use um, it for Although, like no, that. The, you need the double sided, don't you, for zips, I think. Well, you, could, you could hold it in place, yes. or if you were adding um, like uh, magnetic fastenings to yes. bags, things like it's that, that's quite so useful. It's got so many uses, so many uses. So then you've got your friction pen there, haven't you? I've got my friction pen, so I've, I've ironed my fabric before. Mm -hmm. um, so I've ironed the fabric and I've ironed the calico and I'm just using the fabric, the cotton fabric that she's included in the pack yep. for tracing. And I've already traced quite a, a bit of it, but then um, you'll just put this onto um, the fabric. And don't worry, you know, if you're not precise or anything, it is going to be a handmade project. It's not like Just move that over to, to the left a tiny bit for me. Other way. Other Sorry, way. to the right. There you go. No, that is left. Yep. There we go. You ah, can see yes. now. There we go. Um, and then just draw around. Don't need to press very hard. No, you don't. Now, if you nice. hadn't got a light box 
how would you trace this? I'll show you in a minute because actually the print on the template is strong enough and the cotton is thin enough yeah. that if you don't have a light box, you can do it without a light box. Oh, fair enough. The light but it does make just, it a lot easier. It does make it a lot easier. Um, what I tend to do if I, I, I haven't got a light box as ho at home is that I have it on the table and I keep lifting the fabric up. So mm -hmm. I, I tape it, but I keep lifting the fabric up to make sure, especially around the area where you've got the flowers, but then you've also got some stems, you've got the handle yeah. of the um, watering can. So you would actually be able to do it. I'll show you, I'll just yeah. finish doing this now. Well, I think you've just demonstrated very effectively why a light box is such a useful addition because that just makes the whole job so easy, doesn't it? It really, really does. Um, I must admit, in the past, I have resorted to taping things to the kitchen window. Yes, but it's I not have. ideal. No. I'm just going to drop the lights, car for a minute just so that everyone at home can see just how bright those lights are. And actually, in a way, that sort of makes it even easier to see the lines, doesn't it? Does, it does, when you've um, got the, dropped the lights down. It is also very restful. There we go. <laughs> yes, we'll have a little snooze. So if you want to check, I would just oh. lift it up and yep. just make sure that you see I've missed, oh, a, couple missed a couple of hearts. Oh, you've missed a couple of hearts. And that, that was very obvious once you actually lift the fabric away from the back. Mm, it's lovely. You can though, freehand it. it. Well, um, I was going to say, if you wanted to, you could personalise this, couldn't you? Because you could miss a few of the hearts yes. out in the centre and actually trace an initial. If you, you were making could. it for, say, Susan, you could, or Stuart, for yes. example. <laughs> Not that I'm suggesting you make this for me, Cara, but I mean, you could put this. What, with a quilt a, and a cushion? Yeah, you could don't you? Want would you a lot mind? today, Thanks. do you? Um, I just want to show you that's without the light box. Yep. And if I move the design, you can actually see through it. You can, you can. But it's not as easy. Um, it just takes a little bit of time. And this is the thing that takes the time. Now, in terms of the actual stitching, yeah. um, embroidery, there's, I mean, there's hundreds, aren't there, of different stitches. There are. Do we need to have previous experience? No. All I say, I am... Um, I would think out of all the crafts I do, I love embroidery. Um, mm. It is my. Why is that? It's creative. Um, again, you can lose yourself. Um, it takes time. So mm. if you do want to relax or you're recuperating from an operation or you've not been feeling very well, mm. it is. And it, again, it's very sociable. So I just love the creativity of embroidery. Um, and it's been so nice to do some of the embroidery that mm. you know I've been um, doing here. Mm. Um, but Beth has included some basic stitches here, and you'll see she's included information about back stitch, chain stitch, feather stitch, French knots, lazy daisy, running, and satin stitch. And those are very, very, very basic. So those are seven basic embroidery stitches. Which ones do we use for the project? So for the project, um, she recommends back stitch, yep. some chain stitch, and some French knots. Great. So three basic stitches. Yeah, three basic stitches. And I always say to people, if you've never done embroidery before, have a read of this. Mm -hmm. Even go online. There are some very good YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. um, but practice. Yep. Have a scrap of fabric and just have a go. Don't be frightened. It's not difficult. Will you show us a little bit? Yes, I'm going Great. to do some now. It's now, not when difficult you're, at When all. you're putting your, your fabric into the hoop, do you put any batting behind any, or just straight into the hoop? You can actually put it into the hoop. The stitches that I'm going to use today, you don't have to have a hoop. Oh, okay. And in fact, um, I know Beth says, you know, if you don't want a hoop, you don't have to have a hoop. So I'm going to just show you, um, we've got, hoops of different sizes and everything. I've got a big one there. Um, so say, for example, if I was taking this on holiday, I'd maybe have a hoop this size and you think, oh, hold on. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, when you're not stitching, you take your fabric off the um, hoop and then you can move the hoop around. That's 3 okay. .99 for that hoop if you want to get one. It's 5.8 inches in diameter. 
good size that for most it's embroideries, lovely isn't for it? most embroideries that's yeah. a really really good size but so. as you said always remember to take it off yes, before you go to bed i yeah. don't always sometimes i forget i know it and does it, it does tend piece. to make um but as i say this is cotton fabric it's cotton thread yeah. you are able to wash you are able to press yes with any embroidery what i suggest is that you press from the wrong side and you press onto a towel or mm. something because mm. what you don't want to do is actually flatten all the stitches absolutely so um you know if you've got a towel then pop it over once you've done some stitching and press on the back and cool. that allows the stitches to sort of still stand stand proud of the back. Small hoop fabric. there if you want it, four inches in diameter. Again, if you're on a train journey, mm. a coach journey, a car journey, and want just, you know, you can imagine just that, that, and the threads yep. from the kits, which are in the, oh, here, um, and a needle and a pair of scissors, and that's it. Yeah. You're done. You're done. So you can take that with you. And that's, again, what I love about embroidery is so portable. Um, so different hoops for different things. If you've got a bigger project, obviously this um, hoop is too big for this, but if you are doing something a little bit bigger, maybe you want to use the same design, but you want it on a bigger background, mm. so you could use the bigger hoop, which is yeah. nice. So. Yeah. And there's the bigger one, five ninety nine. You can always, if you've only got one large hoop and you're doing a smaller embroidery, you can always tack a bit of waste fabric to the sides yes. of your embroidery and then hoop it and then just take them off at the end. So, so we've got our cotton fabric that we've traced and then we've got our calico and as I say that's lovely to actually have the two fabrics together. So you stitch through both? You stitch through both. Gotcha. So I'm going to actually start and again the stranded cotton is um, six strands. So if you were to untwist, is that mm -hmm. the right colour to use? I'll use the green, might show it up a, a bit better. So that's a six strand, and what that means is if you untwist it like that, you can actually see that the twisted thread is made up of six individual strands. And most embroidery threads are like that. So they actually have six individual strands. Okay. And that's you're working two, with two, two. two? Yeah, it's two. Cool. A lot of people will say, oh, I'll just pull the two off. Right. Well, you're best not to do that. You can, but your thread will still be twisted. Yeah. So what we suggest you do is actually, um, it's called stripping the thread. And we use it on cross stitch as well. So you take your um, strand of cotton, you untwist it slightly. And instead of just trying to take two strands off at a time, you take one strand off at a time. Yeah and then you lay them back together and it means that your actual threads are lying nice and parallel uh, and it gives a smoother you. stitch. So you take them out one at a time and one then at put a the time. two back together. So um, I've got one strand of thread, I'm holding it loosely in my other hand and you just pull. And if you pull like that, it shouldn't tangle up. Oh, so that's one. Brilliant. And then again, exactly the same with another one. Hold it loosely and just pull. If necessary, just unravel it there. I'm going to show you what happens if you don't do it like that and you try and separate. So we've got two there, two that are left. And if you go like that, oh no, 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 no it no, can no. knot up. Yeah. So you're better to actually just Hold it gently yep. and pull and it. And pull it out. Okay. Fab. While you get that threaded up, I'll just read yep. a couple of more messages. Yep. Morag's been in touch to say, I'm sitting knitting chocolate orange characters for <gasps> orders. Ooh. Morag, you had me at chocolate orange. <laughs> Goodness me, two snowmen, four reindeers and three robins, and to try and get stock made for a craft store. Ah, nice. As chocolate you say, you have to eat chocolate orange. Yes. Do you think there is like a snowman? I don't know. Holding oh, a chocolate orange. Oh, it might be. Morag, send in a picture, I was going to say, we need a picture. We Thank need a you. picture. Sounds Hillary. lovely, Morag. <laughs> it does. Hilary. Morning, Hilary. <laughs> My lovely friend Hilary is watching. Um, hi, Stu. I'm hand quilting a wool tweed quilt with appliqued leaves. Yes, I saw that. It's gorgeous. gorgeous. It sounds lovely. Really lovely. See, we love a bit of hand stitching mm. or a bit of knitting. An embroidery project like this is ideal, isn't it, for when you just want to say, you know what, I'm sitting down. I'm chilling out, I'm relaxing here, 
and I'm just gonna do uh, my own thing for a little while without a machine, without that kind of speed. I know, I know. So um, what we do, I'm just going to do a few stitches. I'm not going to do a massive amount of stitching, but you've got your calico and then you've got your cotton fabric. You've traced it all off, you've threaded your needle. Um, I'm a person that doesn't like knots on the back, um, but you can. I've actually got three strands of the strand of cotton here so that you can see it and also it actually um, uh, it covers the lines very quickly. I've just tied knot, having said I don't like knots, yeah. because I'm going to actually keep the knot on the right side. Okay. So I'm going to actually stitch a, about an inch away from where I'm going to be stitching, and I'm going to be doing some back stitching. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to see that. That's perfect. If you just move it to the left very slightly, that's lovely. Okay. So I'm going to do some back stitching. In fact, when you're doing back stitching, I'll do my first stitch, but. Um, I would normally start a little way away from the corner. Okay, so this is where it's not absolutely necessary to um, have a hoop. I'm going to turn that round because I'm right handed. And the back stitch, you go back a stitch and then forward a stitch. Yeah, it's very slightly to the left for me. Thank you. That's it. So you go back a stitch and forward a stitch. And your, your needle's going back down the hole that you've just come out of. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to stay on the line. A little ball more to the left. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm not looking up. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Concentrating on your lovely I stitching. am. That's lovely, that grey, isn't it? This is the it's grey beautiful. option yeah. that Cara is using. It's like a, a tin watering can, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So that's your back stitching. I had stitching. my tin wedding anniversary this year. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. How many years is that? Ten. <gasps> Goodness me. Yeah. Ten years. So that's... I got a tin of beans. <laughs> <laughs> I hope there was something nice in there, apart from beans. Beans. <laughs> <laughs> so um, just back a stitch and then forward a stitch. So that's your back stitch. Yep. Okay, nice. I'm going to show you... I'll just park my needle there. And that's how you do the watering can, the words as well, and the flowers, isn't it? Yes, you can do that. Um, that is actually backstitch. Um, so the flowers I'm going to show you in a minute mm -hmm. as well. Um, French knots, we're going to do French knots on the um, watering can. Okay. Okay. So with this one, if you've got a single length of thread, you can actually thread the two ends of the thread through your needle and you're left with a loop. Mm -hmm there and you'll pass your needle through the fabric and I'm just going to do a little stitch here because what I want to do is secure my thread on the back and you secure your thread on the back by going through oh, stop it. the loop. I've never seen that before. It's a Jane Green off hint and tip oh. which is wonderful for cross stitch and wonderful for embroidery. But that you can only do it like magic. You can only do it when you you're using two strands or four strands. That is like magic. <laughs> we that learned Green something new. clever. I isn't know it? she I really is. I saw her actually at Ali Pally on Thursday, and we had a hug. I haven't seen her for two years. Aww. It was so lovely. She's just brilliant, isn't she? She's wonderful. I've she's known a, her years and years and years. She's and such a love. Just... She's so creative. And you get tips like that, Carl. <laughs> wonderful, thank you. So um, I'm just. No, I can never get doing... French knots really neat. Will okay. you show me how? Yeah. So bring your needle up through the fabric. Be relaxed. I think that's the whole secret of any embroidery. Okay. You've come through your fabric. You're going to wrap your thread once, twice round your needle. Yeah. And again, I'm really relaxed. I can actually let go. I'm going to bring my point of my needle to go back down the fabric. And this is where you just pull slightly to pull the thread around your needle before you pass it through. Okay. But again, I'm not tight, not really, really tight on there. So then I'll just pass it through the fabric. Fab. It's as easy as that. Stay relaxed. It is. Chill. 
Chill, Stuart. <laughs> Beth Miller, has uh, the designer, has actually messaged in to Aww. say, I'm loving the show this morning, watching Cara do one of my kits. She's <laughs> Excellent. Oh, thank you, Beth. Thank you very much for your design. It's absolutely yeah. gorgeous. It is really lovely, isn't it? That combination of embroidery, simple stitchery that's going to really relax you. It's a beautiful design. And then some simple patchwork. You just get a stunning finished cushion you or certainly do hanging or however you want to use it it's lovely beth we love your kits so another stitch is the chain stitch but i know um i want to try and get on to actually um the assembly okay. if you like although i'm not going to be able to do much machining yeah but i wanted to show you so once you've done all your stitching mm -hmm. you'll take a board and you'll notice that i've already marked on here um i need a ruler just use we the edge of this. Many. Okay, um, so I am just going to, there you go, uh, find my rotary cutter. I have one of ours, there's a box full. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. Um, so oh. you're just going to trim your fabric down and um, Beth has told you in the instructions, the exact size. I think it's nine and a half. And you could mark that with a ruler and a friction pen, couldn't you? Yes, that's what scissors. I did. If you don't have yeah. rotary cutting equipment, yeah. you can always do that with scissors. Go old school. <laughs> so you'll trim that down, and then you've already cut all your other pieces out. Um, at this stage as well, I would actually, once I've cut this, I would press this with my embroidery face down onto a towel yeah. and get rid of all the um, the friction pen marks. Mm -hmm. And you can play around with your stitching. You don't have to follow exactly. No, I was thinking that. You could even add a few extra elements, couldn't you? You definitely could. You definitely could. So then you've got all your um, pieces already cut out. And we want... So we've got, we make it a little bit wider mm -hmm. to start with. And this is the back fabric, the fabric for the background. Yep. Quarter of an inch um, seam allowance. And then you're following the photograph on the front of the design. I'll move that down so you can see. So then um, I've added a couple of little squares on either end there of one of the other fabrics that are included in the kit. That will go across there. I know it doesn't look like it fits at the moment, but that's because um, we haven't got the quarter of an inch no. seam allowance. In fact, what I'm going to do is um, the other way. Got a, got a question. Morning, Stuart and Cara. What Morning. type of needle is Cara using? Now, you do get your needle included with your, your kit. It's all there in a piece of felt. Usually, Call that a chenille needle um, or an embroidery yeah. needle, chenille embroidery or embroidery chenille. needle. Um, usually, it's got a slightly larger eye than normal hand stitching yeah. needle, a very sharp point, and um, goes through the fabric without making a big hole. Yes, you don't want, um, you know, sometimes with embroidery, you think, oh, I'll go for a really chunky needle. If you've got a chunky needle and you go through fabric, sometimes you can be left with a hole where yes. you've been stitching. So the finer, the better, I think. Mm. Um, you know, I've got lots of different embroidery needles and there's a needle actually included in the pack. Um, so you can play around with um, what needle you feel comfortable yeah. with. So. I always say the same thing with machine needles, especially for things like machine quilting. Yes. Use the, use the finest needle that yes. will work. Yes. Don't just automatically put a size 100 in your machine. Um, you start with a 75 if you have problems go to an 80 go to a 90 if you have problems with that yes because the holes don't heal up no they um, don't they don't mm, important okay so that's simple so you lay it all out on the table yeah first. I, I lay it all out on the table first to try and make sure that I've got it in the right position and everything so um, just looking yeah so that's that and then I'll go with two dark side pieces like that. And please bear in mind that you know, obviously there's a quarter of an inch seam and ounce yeah. that needs to be included. Yeah. That goes across there. That goes across there. 
Oh, it comes together, doesn't it? It does like really that. come together very quickly. And then you get... two minutes left. Yep. Yeah, pop the one there. Mm -hmm. The one there. Mm. And this it is where you can... the embroidery so well, doesn't yes, it? Yes. This is where you can play around with the actual size. Yeah. Like that. So if you want a smaller cushion, you just trim it down even more. But I love the fact, you know, you've got the squares there, the cornerstones. They are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're ready to make your first quilt, Cara, <gasps> more uh, than ready. Give me a little bit you? more time. I'd, I'd just like some more time, please. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, a bit of a bit of slow stitching is a great way to fill in extra minutes, isn't it? I'd have to have some hand embroidery on it. I'd For sure. have to have some panels with some hand embroidery on it. So, well, thank you so much, Cara. Great That's demos. Right. When are you back? Um, good question. What are we today? The twelfth, twenty seventh, twenty seventh of October. We will look forward to having you back I'll on the twenty seventh. Seventh. Yeah. Brill. Lovely. Let's just do a quick recap of these lovely kits. Now remember you can get uh, the fantastic offer to buy both. So you're getting the green and pink version with black and you're also getting the grey and um, yellow version that Cara has been making for us today. Really lovely that. So you're getting both, all the fabrics, all the threads, the patterns. You're saving $9.99 uh, by buying both together. Now you can also get individuals on these. So if you, let's go with the black. Yep, that's the one that we've got the finished sample of. That's this one, £24.99 for Beth's Keep Calm and Buy Flowers Embroidered Cushion Kit. That's that one. Uh, and then there's also the grey option, which Cara has been making today. Remember, you've got those lovely mustardy uh, and grey. You get absolutely everything you need to make the cushion. £24.99. Really lovely that, isn't it? Nice slow stitching project, some simple patchwork. You're getting everything included that you need. It makes the front and the backing of the cushion, remember. All you're going to need to add is maybe some H640 if you wanted to add that in. And I do think that that is a great addition. It just makes the cushion feel and look more luxurious and a pad. Now then, we've got some lovely backing fabrics. Um, that would be wonderful to add into your basket today. Always useful to have backing fabrics for quilt projects, cushion projects too. We'll start off, these are called dots. We've got off-white, which is a lovely warm kind of, there's lovely tan shades in there as well as the white. And an almost sort of distressed feel or look to the printing. So that's the off-white, $12.99 by the half metre, but this is 274 centimetres wide. That is 106, 108, thank you, 108 inches wide. So certainly big enough for queen-sized quilts. So that's off-white. Then we've got your grey option. That is lovely, isn't it? And so useful, whether you're going for a modern quilt, a traditional quilt, these colours would work really nicely. The neutrals in particular are going to work with a really wide variety of fabrics. $12.99 per half metre. Now in terms of how much do you need, if you're buying this ahead to put in your stash, for a queen size quilt I would get two and a half to three metres of fabric. That is going to be enough, six units five to six units is going to be enough for a queen size quilt and that means then that you don't have to piece individual fabrics together. Remember if you were going to back a 90 inch wide quilt, just 90 inch wide, you'd need to piece together three widths of fabric, not standard width fabric, because even though standard width fabric, you might get it at 45 inches at a push. By the time you've sewn two together, you've now only got 89. Uh, so it's already not wide enough. But also you need about three to four inches of extra fabric on each side. So why go through that faff? 
an extra wide fabric is a much, much more economical way of backing a quilt. Uh, that's 108 inches wide. And then we've got this red option. Now this is sumptuous. It is lovely. If you're a fan of um, Three Sisters from Moda, if you love uh, French General, this would fit really well. It also would be amazing for a Christmas quilt, wouldn't it, to back a Christmas quilt or indeed to make things like extra pillowcases to, to go with your quilt or to border a quilt. I mean, it's 100% cotton quilt weight fabric anyway, so there's no reason why you shouldn't mix this in with the front of your quilt. It isn't just a backing fabric. So that is in the red and it's a lovely, deep, cranberry wine sort of red there's a mixture of tones which is really going to help it blend with different reds so i mean not every red is the same so using a fabric like this rather than a plain means that this will go with more reds or more colors than just a solid absolutely perfect for a christmas quilt this this would go very very nicely with alison marion's Christmas quilt. Now then, if Paisley is more your thing, let me show you some different options. This is pretty much brand new. These are really lovely. Look at those. These are blank quilting as well. So a great name, great name in fabric. These have only launched this week and they are flying. They've been absolutely flying all week. We're going to start with the dark blue Paisley. There are the graphics on the screen for your Shelby Paisley blue extra wide backing fabric. Uh, again, 280 centimetres, that's 108 inches wide. We'll hold this out just to show you just how wide it is. Haley at the ready. Now again, this would work absolutely brilliantly if you love um, Antique Quilt Company fabrics. That is gorgeous. Look at that. So wide. 108 inches. That is amazing, isn't it? You could wrap me up like a mummy. <laughs> Brilliant. Love that. Um, and again, would work whether you're making quilts that are traditional or modern for men or women. There's no reason why you wouldn't use that on a baby quilt too. I think that's lovely. Um, and would mix with such a lovely range of blues as well, wouldn't it? With all those different colours. You could also use that for dressmaking as well, couldn't you? Now, again this morning, Elliot's mentioned wedding suits. So I'm wondering, Elliot, if you're ready to pop the question. You keep mentioning weddings. He's getting on a bit. He's just celebrated his 30th birthday. Although I've got to admit, I did think it was his 40th. I got the card completely wrong. I'm kidding, of course. Now that's pretty, isn't it? That is lovely, lovely combination. What I particularly like about this is it's got that little bit of golden tan in there, which just warms the whole thing up. That's the light blue Shelby Paisley. Very, very pretty, that one. And you know, you're right, it would be beautiful for dressmaking this. I could imagine a very nice, maybe a wrap dress made in this light blue would be lovely. There's lots of nice detail in there. And patterned backings are great if you're not such a confident free motion quilter. Because the back of your quilting isn't going to show as much on a patterned fabric so if there's a little a few little tension issues in your quilting on the back it's not really going to show we're very low on stock on this four meters left four meters left so check out your basket Lovely to have backing fabrics in stock. It doesn't need to be for a quilt that you're working on right this minute. Have a backing fabric in stock. You know you're going to make a quilt. <laughs> you know you're going to make another one. Really useful to have. Now this is the grey Shelby Paisley. Again, very, very useful colours these. They're going to go with so many different fabrics that are on the front of your quilt. Um, I think it's very, very important to use a good quality fabric on the back of your quilt for a few reasons. And the main one is wear and tear. 
because don't forget the back of your quill is going to take just as much wear and tear if not more I would suggest than the front high thread count good quality cotton is going to wear and last for years and years poor quality cheap loosely woven fabric is going to wear out very quickly your quilt top is going to last your backing fabric's got to last the same amount of time hasn't it otherwise the quilt becomes um, worn unnecessarily so really good quality it's blank quilting a name we know and trust that's the gray colorway just multi-buy the units and they'll all come in one piece now this last one is a wonderful rich gold really sumptuous we've called it cream but what you've got in there are lovely rich brown and taup and mustard and gold shades it's really lovely very very nice to back a christmas quilt this one i think or also just a quilt that you sometimes you want to give it a different look don't you you know something like a reversible quilt I mean any quilt can be reversible if you use a nice fabric on the back so using this on the back means that you can flip it and get dual use you could also use this if you wanted to make um, like a whole cloth counterpane you know like a just a just a simply quilted quilt for on the top of a bed or a throw for a chair or some cushions very nice that 12.99 it's brand new this week and has been flying which is great but it also means that the stocks that we've got are dwindling and they are dwindling very very quickly the price of cotton is going up and up and up and I am not the first person to tell you that cotton prices for quilt weight cotton and crafters cotton are going to go up. So getting ahead of that, having some fabrics in stock like backing fabrics in stock in your stash is a really smart move. Okay. So we're going to be coming back very, very shortly after the break with a sewing machine hour. So if you want to know a little bit more information about the sewing machine you've just bought or you're looking for a brand new machine or a present for someone very special, tune into the next hour. I'm going to be giving you the lowdown on our very favourite sewing machines. I'm so excited to tell you about Yarn Lane's Mystery Christmas Crochet Along, or CAL for short. Whether you're a crochet beginner or more experienced, you are going to love this project. As it builds each week into a beautiful, traditional Christmas blanket. But, now this is the mystery part. To keep you guessing, and to make it fun, we're going to keep the finished design a secret so you'll only know what the finished blanket looks like at the very end when you add the border. We have set up a special members only Facebook group where we'll be posting the next set of instructions each week and you can ask me and Wendy Orlando, our star designer, any questions. It's going to be such a great community. So head to www.yarnlane.com for more details of how it all works and to buy your kit to join in with the Christmas cow fun. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. 
I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project. So. I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance so I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills um, you know, slowly. Um, and 
I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Hey there, how you doing? It's our last hour on Sewing Street. Thanks for staying with us all morning. We've got a cracking hour coming up and I'm going to start right now with something very, very special for you. And that is we want to give you £20 credit into your account in this hour. And the way we're going to do that is this. If you buy a sewing machine in the next hour, from this show, we're going to put £20 credit into your account as our thank you and a, why don't you go and treat yourself to some fabrics, maybe some needles or a new ruler uh, while you're purchasing your sewing machine. You haven't got to use the £20 credit today, but we're going to give you £20 credit into your account for every sewing machine that you buy in this hour. So a great opportunity. Think of it as £20 off if you want, but we're giving you £20 credit to spend on anything you like from Sewing Street if you buy a sewing machine in this hour. Now, a new sewing machine, is it time to upgrade? Is it time to move on? Is the sewing machine that you've got right now fulfilling all of your needs? Is it helping you realise your dreams as the sewer you want to become? Is it holding you back? Is it a bit tired? Is it a bit dated? Is it not really working for you? Maybe your sewing machine at home is doing everything you need it to do, but you've started venturing out to workshops, classes, your quilt club is resumed, and you want to be able to take along a machine and you don't want to take your precious sewing room machine with you. So you're looking for something else. Or has someone in your family been inspired or a friend been inspired to start sewing? Maybe you have inspired them to start sewing or you want to encourage them to start making their own clothes or doing patchwork and quilting. Maybe take up a new hobby. Maybe you've just retired. In this show, we've got a whole range of different sewing machines that are going to cover you, whether it's your first sewing machine, whether you're ready to move on a little bit, or whether you're ready for that ultimate machine for your sewing room that's going to be your very special machine. We've got them all today on the show. And if you buy a sewing machine, remember, we're going to give you £20 credit into your account. Now, we're going to start with what I think is an absolute gem of a machine. It's the Elna 580 Plus. Now, we've got a really, really special price on this machine. We're going to hold the price at £789. £789. Now, I'm going to show you some price comparisons elsewhere today. Because if you wanted to, you could pay £899. That's £110 more. There it is. £899 for exactly the same machine. The Elna Excellence 580 Plus. £899. It's in stock. There's only three left on this website. Um, but we are doing it for £789. Split pay, if you'd like, £263 
interest free, okay, you're not paying any extra by taking that option, we're simply giving you that option if you want it to spread the cost over three interest pre free payments. £263 is all you need to pay today to get this absolute gem of a machine home. Now this is your ultimate, isn't it? This is in your sewing room, take you anywhere, whether you want to do dressmaking, home deck, toys, patchwork and quilting, whether you want to be able to adjust, mend and revamp clothing, your Excellence 580 Plus is going to do absolutely everything. I've got a wonderful Elna at home. I use it all the time. Now, your Elna 580 Plus has got a 120 stitches. There they are. All on the top there. All your utility stitches, stretch stitches for working with things like jersey, t-shirt fabrics. You've got loads of different buttonholes. How many do we have? seven different buttonholes. So wh whether you're trying to stitch on stretchy fabric, um, firmly woven fabric, if you're doing a keyhole buttonhole on thick coat fabric maybe, all there, all there. Now your maximum stitch width is seven mil. You've also got alphabets, of course, which I think is super important. Uh, you've got a speed controller or a speed limiter. Now, right here, you can see you've got from the tortoise to the hare. If you're using um, your foot pedal for this, then use this as a speed limiter. So, for example, if you find yourself a little, you know, you sew too fast and you'd like to slow it down a bit. If you slow that down midway, it means that even with your foot, flat to the floor on the pedal, it won't go above medium speed. Or if you're doing real precision work, pop it right down to the, to the tortoise and then you can't go above the slowest speed. If you're using the start stop button and going foot pedal less, then that will be the constant speed. Always slow, always medium, always fast. Now, also on here, you've got things like um, automatic cutting function. So just press that and it'll cut your threads. You've got an automatic needle threader. You've got your um, reverse stitch. You can use your tie off stitch there as well. So if you want to add a little tie off at the start and finish of your seams, you can just press that button. Uh, reverse sewing, of course, for when you want to back stitch at the start. Um, a start stop button. Now you're going to use this if you're going pedal free. I also always go pedal free when I'm doing buttonholes. I like the machine to just do the whole thing, one step, press that button, sit back, watch it work, one of the seven buttonholes. Um, automatic needle threader, of course. I wouldn't even consider a machine now without one of those. And also as well, of course, automatic needle up, needle down as well. So you can bring the needle up, you can put the needle down. Your machine's always going to finish with the needle in the down position. That's the default setting. But you can also reset your machine very simply to always finish with the needle in the up position if you prefer. Now you've got a lovely bright LCD light under there that's going to illuminate your sewing area. Really nice big uh, throat space here as well. Excellent throat space. So if you're making larger projects, things like large quilts, large garments, curtains, blinds, you've got a really nice space there for working in. Really good space for working in. This comes with an extension table as well. Okay, so a light, nice large workspace. So I always use that for just about every uh, bit of uh, sewing that I do. The only time the extension table ever comes off is when I also take off the accessory box to use the free arm. Uh, you can also drop your feed dogs for free motion quilting. I'm just checking there. I've got your little Excellent. Right. Okay. Oh, one other thing I want to just show you here. I love this. I love this on my Elna. This part opens out automatically on a lot of sewing machine brands. You have to undo screws in order to do this. If you should ever get thread caught 
in your threading path, it's just so easy to be able to just open that front up and clear any uh, thread jams. Really super machine that, really super. Fabulous. Now, of course, our, our, I suppose our very favourite machine here at Sewing Street is the 680 Plus, but that's now completely out of stock uh, and there's no chance of getting more stock before the end of the year. Uh, we've had that absolutely confirmed. We won't be able to get it. The 580 is so very, very similar to the 680 in many ways. It doesn't have the knee lift, um, which a, a lot of people don't use anyway when they've got one. Um, but you have got so much functionality here. It is an absolutely super machine. And the price is incredible, £789. Now remember, we had a look at a comparison site and we found exactly the same machine, exactly the same foot package for £899, £110 more. And of course, don't forget as well, if you buy this machine or any of the machines on air today, you're going to get um, a £20 credit in your account. £20 credit in your account. And you can spend that on anything at all. Earlier on, I should explain, I was trying, <laughs> this is the problem with being behind a sewing machine instead of, I'm more used to being around that side um, of how you drop the feed dogs. And I do apologise, I was looking. But there's actually a button right here at the side. This is your button. Oftentimes it's around the back, isn't it? Or around the front. But you just flick this switch from one side to the other to raise or lower the feed dogs, okay? So if you want to do free motion quilting, you can. Now, I wonder, foot package wise, with this. I think the feet that come with a sewing machine are so, so important, aren't they? Now, in here, you've got your utility feet. So your foot always comes with the J foot already on there. And I, I love these little um, pockets, if you like, that keep your feet in. So you've got things in there like your monogramming foot or your satin stitch foot. You've also got uh, your zipper foot. I'm just going to grab the manual. But your standard accessories with this machine, you're getting your zigzag foot, which is on the machine. You're getting a rolled hem foot, a zipper foot, a satin stitch or embroidery foot. That's F. Uh, you're getting an open-toed satin stitch foot, great for foundation paper piecing too. You're getting a blind hemming foot, an over-edge foot, and then you're also getting a quarter-inch seam foot. Now also you'll get an automatic buttonhole foot, that's in the front accessory box. That's for doing any one of your seven automatic one-step buttonholes. You get a circular pivot pin as well, which is for doing circle embroidery. So lots and lots of the embroidery stitches on this machine, you can actually stitch in a circle. Lovely decorative finish that. Really nice decorative finish. I think to also include an extension table for £789 is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And it really increases your workspace as well. What that means then is that you've got less drag on your quilt when you're quilting it or your coat when you're sewing it together, your curtains, your blinds. It's increasing the surface area that your project is being supported by, which means you're not straining and overworking your shoulders or craning your neck when you're trying to control your fabric. It's supported by the weight of an extension table. It just makes the whole process much, much kinder to your body, I think. Really fab machine. Of course, it's computerized, which means that brain on board helps you along the way, helps you to uh, pick the right settings. Your machine's even going to tell you which foot to put on, depending on which stitch you select from down here. You know, the number one piece of advice, if, if I was to give the number one piece of advice, and I'm often asked this question, what sewing machine should I buy? Um, and <laughs> no one can look into the future and say, 
what, what you might need. But try and look ahead to the sewer you want to become. Think about all the different projects that you might be able to sew in the future. You might be starting out now as a beginner or you're still in that kind of novice phase and finding your feet. But, you know, the one thing that should never hold you back when you're sewing or deciding on what to make, your sewing machine should never, ever be the thing that holds you back. If you want to start doing dressmaking, your machine needs to be ready for dressmaking. If you want to sew with stretch fabrics or knit fabrics, which is so on trend right now, your sewing machine needs to be able to deal with stretch fabrics and needs to have construction stretch stitches and over edge stitching stretch stitches and a stretch buttonhole. Your 580 Plus has got all of those, all of those stitches. They're right here up the top in all of those stitches, utility, decorative, buttonholes, even some heritage stitches as well for creating really beautiful like children's garments, beautiful. We're maintaining that wonderful price, £789. We know it should be more. We know it should be £899, but we're holding it at £789. Remember the 680 plus is out of stock now until well into the new year. So if you're thinking Christmas present, if you're thinking new machine, really start the new year right, go for the 580 plus. It's a terrific machine. Don't forget you will be getting £20 credit if you buy this machine today. It's a two year warranty as well, so you've got that peace of mind. Now then, we're going to move around to the 570. Walk with me. Come on. Let's go around. Past some rather wonderful sewing machine bags. We'll get to those, but do shop ahead. So the 570. Yeah, that's this one right here. I'm going to move this machine over a little bit just for now. Oh, there's a machine under there. I wonder why it was heavy. <laughs> Now, you are getting the hard case with this machine as well, aren't you? Ooh, sorry, wrong way. There we go. Okay, right. So this is the 570, the 570A sewing machine from Elna. Remember, Elna is a sewing machine brand that we know and love. I have a, an Elna 680 Plus. It's a beautiful machine. Love Elna's. So let's have a look at what you're getting here with the 570A. You're getting a sewing space of 170 millimetres. You're getting the free arm, so for things like turning up trousers, bag making, sewing in sleeves, an LCD disc screen, a horizontal full rotary hook with transparent bobbin cover. That's so important so you can see how much thread you've got uh, before you start sewing that really long seam. A built-in needle threader. You're also getting seven piece retractable feed dogs so you can drop the feed dogs here. Built in bright LED lights. So even if you're working in difficult light, you've got lighting inside your machine as well. Uh, manual thread tension control. Easy and guided bobbin threader with a built in thread cutter. Pressure foot adjustment. So if you're working on very light or very heavy fabrics or thick layers, you can adjust. An extra high presser foot position for working on thick layers. You are getting an extension table with this machine, stitch reference chart, automatic start stop and reverse, an auto lock or knotting function. You can have automatic needle up, needle down, an automatic thread cutter that is unprecedented on a machine of this price, thread cut memory key and a memory key so you can actually program in and splice together decorative stitches and uh, 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 stitches up uh, your uh, alphabets as well. Now we've been showing this machine for the last few weeks. We're down to single figures and we've been waiting since February for this machine. Now this machine is the kind of thing I think if you've maybe started sewing recently and you went for that really basic machine that had three stitches, you know the one I mean, that's got three or four stitches, it's a bit clunky and it's not really working for you. You've outgrown it very, very quickly. 
um, and you're ready for a machine that's got, look at all these different stitches, that's got 200 stitches on it. Absolutely full of functionality, but still at £599. That's an incredible price. Absolutely incredible. Now, I encourage you to have a look online. Compare the prices. We do it now, don't we? Anything I want to buy, I'm straight on Google. £699 here. That's £100 more for the Elner Experience 570A. Exactly the same machine for £100 more. Uh, they weren't offering split pay. We are. Three of them, £199.66 is all you need to pay today to get the Elner Experience 570A home. Beautiful machine, absolutely beautiful, and a real grower, a real grower, this machine. Would also be fantastic if you've got your super duper, never leaves the house machine, but you're looking for something to take away for the weekend to the caravan, to workshops, to classes, to quilt club, um, or you've just signed up for a class to learn dressmaking. Great machine, this, to be able to take in and out of the car or on the bus. Two alphabets as well on this one. Two alphabets there. You've got your full um, English alphabet and then you've also got a European alphabet as well. Um, so if you need cedillas, if you need accents, there they are. Also some little symbols as well there, aren't there? Ampersand, that's my favourite. Now, let's just look, number of stitches. Did I say there were 200? There's 380. Goodness me, including the alphabets, yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, 12 one-step buttonholes, 50 stitch combinations, so you can splice stitches together. A maximum stitch width of 7 mil and a maximum stitch length of 5. Really useful for machine basting that. 15 different needle positions. Uh, terrific functionality there. Now these are the feet you get included with the 570A. You've got your standard foot A, that's your zigzag foot. You're going to use that for a lot of utility stitches. A satin stitch foot F, that's also going to be used for a lot of decorative stitching. The over edge foot does a very similar job to overlocking. Doesn't cut but does finish the edges of your seams beautifully. Uh, your zipper foot. Blind hem foot, a quarter inch seam perfect for patchworkers. Automatic buttonhole foot with a stabiliser plate. You're getting bobbins, you're getting a seam ripper. I know we don't like the seam ripper, but you have to have one. Uh, spool holders, large and small. An additional spool pin, so you don't even have to unthread your machine to wind a new bobbin. Limp brush, needle set, screwdriver, foot controller. You're getting an instructional video. Now I'm going to check that it's not a VHS. <laughs> uh, instructional video, is that on a DVD? Would work in a computer, like a CD-ROM? Hmm. It may be a web URL. Okay. Uh, you're getting a hardcover and an extension table. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. That would make a great, I mean, goodness me, if you want to learn to sew or you want to encourage someone else to start sewing on a terrific machine, this is the one. <clears throat> now, Judging by the way this machine has been selling over the last few weeks, I reckon it's got about another week to 10 days left in it. We are October. Mm. Uh, how many have we got left? Single figures. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So we're selling a lot of these machines. Let's put it that way. Um, we've got single figures of these machines left. Uh, so certainly probably a week's worth, a week's worth left, I reckon. Uh, we're only in October. We won't even be out of October then. So if you're thinking Christmas present, uh, don't, don't dilly dally. Grab it now. And also grab it today because we're going to put £20 credit into your account. You can spend that on anything you like at all. You could buy fabric with it. You could buy a new ruler, maybe a book, a kit, put it towards something else. Um, £20 credit, whatever machine you buy, whether it's 
it's the 570A, whether it's uh, the 580 plus, whichever one you choose, get £20 credit in your account, just because we're feeling generous. <laughs> now then, let's move on. We've got two more machines. Now let's go, do you want to go 550, 560? Let's go 560. All of these machines as well have a really good weight to them. Um, a good weight, but not an excessive weight. And I say that because, you know, we want a good weight so that our machine isn't rattling around the table ready to take off every time we put our foot to the floor. So you need that weight for stability, but not so much weight that it becomes cumbersome and heavy if you need to move your machine from table to bedroom to car to bus to workshop. OK, so this is the Elna Experience 560. And I guess what it comes down to now is number of stitches that you're going to get on this machine. So you've still got some really high end features on this machine. You've still got that LCD display. You've still got the lighting, the built-in white LED lighting. You're still getting that 170 millimeters of uh, sewing space and a free arm. You've got a, a feed dog that you can uh, retract, that you can drop. You're getting all these feet. You're getting so much functionality there. And look there, the sort of things you're getting. You're still getting that blind hem stitch foot, buttonhole, over edge stitch, satin stitch or embroidery, zipper foot, quarter inch foot, and standard foot. So quilters, you've got it. Dressmakers, you've got it. Home decor, it's there. Um, you're getting all those spool caps, seam ripper, screwdriver, all the bits you need. Uh, a hard case. You're getting your um, foot pedal. But also on this machine, you can sew without a foot pedal too, if that works for you, if that makes the whole uh, function better. Now, stitch-wise with this machine, we'll have a look and see what you're getting. So, of course, you're getting all the utility stitches that you could want. Let me show you there. So... Right here in the side, you're getting 100 stitches in total, and here they are. Here's the first 50. So different positions of straight stitch to begin with. This is our bread and butter. A triple stitch, two for stretch fabrics. You're getting a lightning stitch, number five. Zigzags of various kinds. Then you're getting your finishing stitches, so your over edge stitches. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You're getting stitches that will finish cottons and thicker fabrics and also stretch fabrics too. Then you're getting your buttonholes. All sorts of different buttonholes for different kinds of fabrics. You're getting a darning function, an eyelet stitch, and then we get into some of those um, more specialist quilty uh, stitches that I want to see. Things like your various blanket stitches for doing um, invisible machine applique. Now let's look at price comparison. And I still got another 50 stitches to go through. <laughs> uh, this is £639 elsewhere today. They've only got one left in stock. So people are buying them at £639. Exactly the same machine, exactly the same package. How do we do it for £579? Well, we have a great relationship with Elna. And we work really hard to get you the best prices because we're all about sewing. We're all about encouraging. I've always said that's my main role in life. I'm an encourager. Um, and at £579 um, for this machine. And of course, you've got the option of three split pays of £193. So less than £200 to get this machine home. You'll have it paid off before Christmas. And remember, there's no interest. There's no credit charge for having the split pay. So why not? Um, just quickly to show you as well, there's the other 50 stitches that you get. So lots of lovely decorative stitches. And this does come with a hard case too. And an extension table. Again, an extension table with a machine a £579. It's unprecedented. It's really terrific to get. It's a high-end 
add-on normally for a machine to get an extension table and yet it's something I would consider an essential. I really would. I'd always have an extension table with a machine. Now don't forget too, just because we're nice, you're getting £20 credit into your account today if you buy one of these machines. You're getting an extra £20 just paid into your account to spend on whatever you like. That sounds great. Now, down here I've got the 550. Yep, there we go, 550. We really, I think, have got a model to suit every budget here, haven't we? This is under £500. £499 there for your Eleanor Experience 550. Now, guess what? You're still getting so many of those functions that we've just seen. You're still getting that same size throat space. You've got that automatic needle up, needle down function. You can start stop automatically with the touch of a button, so you don't need to use your foot pedal with this machine again. You've got 50 stitches. Here they are. And what this machine does really is concentrate on those utility stitches. So we've still got all those really useful utility stitches here for working with plain fabrics, you know, um, non-stretch and stretch fabrics, a variety of different one-step buttonholes, some good decorative stitches there as well. You've even got um, a blanket stitch, a couple of blanket stitches there. So for um, machine applique, you've got those. Terrific. Let's look at a price comparison. We're doing that with all of them. Look, you could pay £80 more by buying it from this website and pay £579. Um, you're not going to get £20 into your account if you buy it from them. You've already spent £80 more by buying it from this website instead of from us. So effectively, if you bought it from there, you're losing out on £100. Um, because from us, you're going to pay £499. You're also going to get the option of three split pays of only £166.33. You're also going to get £20 credit automatically put back into your account to spend on anything you like from Sewing Street. And you're going to get guaranteed delivery, uh, I mean, I say well before Christmas, you're going to get it straight as soon as you place your order. It's going to come straight from Elna. Of course, if you've ordered anything else from Sewing Street today, you'll get two deliveries, but all with one P and P. Now, what's the weight on this machine? Do we know? About seven, eight kilograms, I would have said. We'll find out. I'm just thinking about what you'd pay if you took that machine to the post office and said that you needed to post it, how much you'd pay for that. It would definitely be an extra large parcel wouldn't it? And I think you'd want it signed for as well because it's something precious. Um, I think you'd be paying rather more than £3.95 to post it. Uh, of course, if you've already bought something today on Sewing Street, you won't even be paying any extra postage and packing. 6.5 kilograms that. So that's a really, really good weight if you're going to workshops, classes, and you want a, a nice mobile machine. Or even if you just haven't got very much space to sew in and you're having to constantly lift your machine on and off the table. Or if you have maybe some issues and you, you wouldn't be able to carry a heavier machine, um, 6.5 kilograms. I think it's fair to say is the lightest machine that we've got on the show. We've got one more machine to show you. I'm going to move around. This is the 450. The 450 experience. Ah, oh, no, I think that, I think you're right. I think that is lighter. I'm just going to make a little bit more space over here. Now this machine, you're already saving £20 off our normal price. Oh, this is a terrific, I would say very much, 
very much. If this is your first machine, my goodness me, you'd do well with this. £299, that's terrific. That is terrific. And that's £20 less than we normally charge. So we've dropped below the £300 mark for the Elna 450EX. That is fantastic. Now let's have a look and see what we're getting here. Don't forget, of course, just because this is under £300, you're still getting that £20 credit put into your account today. As our little thank you for buying a sewing machine from Sewing Street today. You're getting four split pays here. Four split pays, £74.75, so under £75 to get this home. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Now then, I've got the manual right here. Let's have a little look and see. I'm going to go through what you get. So parts wise, you're getting your zigzag foot, a zipper foot, satin stitch, sliding buttonhole foot, you're getting spool holders, large and small, spool pin and an extra spool pin, you're getting your bobbins, needles, seam ripper, brush, screwdriver, instruction book, you're getting a soft cover with this one, you're getting your foot control and a power cable. So everything you need for under £300. That is a big wow from me because let me tell you, the very first computerised sewing machine I bought was in 1993 and it cost more than £500 then. Elliot's just like to remind me that he's young. He was two years old then. But in fairness, Elliot, nobody thought on my 30th birthday that I was 40. <laughs> I shouldn't really say that, should I, to the director? You're getting 30 stitches with this machine. And I think rather conveniently, they are all on the front of the machine. So you don't have to carry the manual around with you. Um, this might surprise you, actually, on a machine of this price. You're still getting an automatic needle threader. You're still getting that automatic needle threader. Absolutely fab. You're still getting adjustable speed control here. You can still adjust that speed. You're still getting automatic needle up, needle down. Now that £500 computerised sewing machine I bought in 1993 did not have an automatic needle up, needle down function. I was told I'd have to pay well over £1,000 in order to get that. Um, nearly 30 years ago. Amazing. Uh, got a lovely message from Catherine saying, Hi Stuart, my other half has bought me the Elna 450 for Christmas. It is my first sewing machine. Catherine from South Yorkshire. Catherine, that is fantastic news. Welcome to the family. Um, we've got you forever now. Oh my goodness, you have got the most fun adventure in your life coming up now, your first sewing machine. Uh, make sure that the Christmas dinner that you buy is something that you do not have to even look at because you will be on your machine sewing. Tell me, are you gonna have to wait until Christmas day before you're allowed to touch your machine or are you gonna be allowed it before? Now, this machine will go up to £319. We're giving you an extra saving of £20 today. Today only. Now, also on top of that, not this is the £20, you're also getting an additional £20, if you like, cash back into your account, you're getting a £20 credit put into your account, just as our way of saying, thanks for buying a sewing machine from Sewing Street today. Here's an extra little bonus for you. £20 in your account, just for buying a sewing machine. You can spend that on anything you like. What a cracking machine. Catherine's got that as her Christmas present. What about you? What a brilliant gift for somebody who's going off to college or just starting at college, maybe doing fashion and textiles or design, and they need a sewing machine that they're going to be able to use to make 
clothing, home decor, soft furnishings. Maybe you've signed up for a night school class and you want a machine that's going to do all of those things, but you need it to be budget friendly. You need it to be under £300. Now, for today, we've brought this machine under £300. It should normally be £319. Today it's £299. You're also getting £20 extra put in your account as a credit. We're also offering you four split pays of £74.75, interest free. So less than £75, you can get that machine home. What a brilliant, brilliant day to buy a sewing machine. Now, we've got some fab accessories to go with sewing machines. Uh, we've got a, the most fantastic bag. Let me show you. Let me show you. Can I move around? Can I move around? I'm just, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. This is a beast. This is a beast. Look at this. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to show you inside the bag first of all, because look. Oh, see, I don't need to tilt the bag. We've got an overhead camera. Um, fantastic big padded space inside massive massive amount of space in there for your sewing machine or if you're an Aki quilter and you've got to go big or you've got the Aki quilt and you've got dies you want to take your dies and your use this as die storage you absolutely can what about your overlocker manual thread stand all of that in there nice and soft, nice and secure inside and padded. You've then got this double zip to secure everything. You've got the option of carrying this with handles instead if you want to. It will come off the frame, okay? You've also got these handles at the side. So for example, depending on your level of strength and dexterity, one handle may suit you, one handle either side might suit you better and you've got that or you can work with someone else you take one handle I'll take the other but you've then got hello look at that so we can wheel along so now if we're going away for the weekend or for a week away and we're taking our sewing machine with us or we keep our sewing machine in the house, but you've got your, is it a she shed? <laughs> you've got your sewing studio at the end of the garden path, but you like to be able to take your sewing machine, because sewing machines should always be kept in, really in the house, um, where it's kind of dry, temperate, even temperature, no fluctuations, doesn't get really cold. Even if you sew in a shed at the bottom of the garden, um, you want to be able to, you don't want to leave your sewing machine in a shed or in a car overnight. Um, so this trolley, amazing. The price is incredible at $54.99. I've sold many, many sewing machine trolleys over the years that are £200. And certainly plenty that are well over £100. This is less than £55. That's an incredible buy. Now, Neil, manager Neil, uses one of these trolleys for his car care. So he keeps all of his polishes and wheel cleaners. So this isn't just for sewing machines. You could put all of your toolkit in here and wheel it about. Neil loves his car. He treats that car like a baby. <laughs> but what a fantastic, fantastic wheelie trolley for keeping your sewing machine or your overlocker, your AccuQuilt die cutting machine and dies. It's terrific. That is really fab. I like that a lot. Now with some other ba uh, bags, should we do minty green? Ah, the teal. Let me grab the teal. Let me grab the teal. 
this is lovely now this is one of those bags that you're going to carry with your sewing machine in or this might be what you store things like your die cutting machine in your overlocker but equally it could be your fabric your notions your tools um, i've put some cushions in just to pad it out but you've got a massive big space in there now there are no pockets inside because this is designed as a sewing machine bag okay um, this is going to fit um, certainly the five, the five fit 40, 550, 60, 70 are all going to go in here. You've got a really, really strong double zip. Um, and then you've also got a couple of really great handles. And I like this. Save your fingers. Because obviously there is going to be some weight in there when you're carrying it. But that is really going to help to cushion. But it's also nice and squishy. Um, got, some, got some structure to it, which is going to help to protect your precious sewing machine. Now then, at the front, you've got... Oops, I pulled that down properly. Got a really nice big pocket in there. Okay, that you could use for things like uh, patterns, your rotary cutter, rotary cutter, scissors. You could also use put things like your foot pedal and your power cable in there as well, or keep your manual in there too. I always say to everybody uh, when they're coming to a workshop, make sure you bring your sewing machine manual with you because if something goes wrong. We need the manual or you need to do something you haven't done before but a terrific bag the price <laughs> i haven't even looked at the price 19.99 uh, that's amazing isn't it uh, gorgeous color too love that now then we've got a couple of other options as well if you thought 99 pound was a good price I agree with you. I absolutely agree. Would you like it to be a little less? Turquoise, $15.99. You're having a laugh. Goodness me. That's amazing. So we've got that pocket in the front. I love these graphics here. And I love, 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 love these little scissors. That is so cool. What a cool bag for $15.99. So power cable pedal manual thread scissors in they go you've still got your little gripper there and then inside again just a fantastic amount of space in there i'm just going to take those pillows out for a second just to show you this is i'm putting the this is the 570 inside and look at that, you've got a really nice firm base in there. Just going to move that down so you can see. There's overhead. So it fits in absolutely beautifully. And there's still space in there for more if you wanted to put some fabrics and some other bits and bobs. And then in that front, you can pop your power cable and your pedal. Of course, I'm almost forgetting you've got your extension table, so we need to pop that in as well, don't we? There we go. Uh, it's got a hard case as well, of course, that could go in too. Uh, this is a review for the bag, very nicely made bag and a useful size. Fits my cutting mat as well as my sewing machine. Yeah, absolutely. If you wanted to pop your June Taylor cut and press in there, if you've got the small size, that would definitely fit in there. Uh, also a review from Wendy. Oh, you bought two. I <laughs> don't blame you. Second bag bought first for the sewing machine and one for my embroidery machine. There you are. Absolutely. And as I say, AccuQuill or Sizzix cutting machine, some dies, your mats, they could go in here too. You could even use this for storing fabrics, your fat quarters, your half meters and meters could go in there. Your tools and notions. That is is that a turquoise we're calling that turquoise okay and then we've also got the purple now my friend sally would be all over this my friend sally doesn't sew she doesn't have a sewing machine but if sally was a color it would be that purple she had a car that color once divine you need to be very quick very quick less than 10 left i think if you know, if I was to say what colour do I think of when I think 
of my wonderful quilting community, I think purple, because every quilting group I've ever been to, there's always a member who is the purple girl. Everything she makes is got purple in it. I'm thinking Val in my quilting club. Um, she just loves her purple. And that is the most joyful shade of purple, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful. Um, now, someone was asking us earlier on about Calico um, and it's back in stock. So I'm gonna mention that while we're here. Uh, because I know this is one of your absolute favourite utility fabrics. So this calico is Quilter's Calico. It's pre-shrunk. You're getting half a metre and it's £2.49. Now I can tell you this is half the width. This is extra wide, isn't it? This is an extra wide. That isn't 42 inches. That is more like 54. Selvage to selvage. I mean, just... Look at that. That is wide, isn't it? Amazing. Great for building in your stash. Brilliant to have, actually. I'm very keen on a toile. If I'm dressmaking, I will always make a calico toile first to check the fit. Can be used on the back of quilts as well. Very affordable option. Also very, very good. You saw earlier on Cara was using calico uh, behind when she was quilting and embroidering um, things like cushions. It's 137 centimetres wide. A normal width for quilt weight cotton is 112? Yeah, 112. So extra wide, £2.49 by the half metre. And remember, this is cut for you. So if you buy five units, you'll get two and a half metres in a continuous length. Um, this is particularly good if you want to back, you know, quilts up to... Well, what's, uh, what's the width in inches? 53. So I would say up to about 48, 49 inch wide quilt. So really good. Or you can join them, of course, for larger quilts. It's really nice and soft. It's pre-washed, so it doesn't have that stiff feel. It feels nice and soft and fluid. As I say, absolutely brilliant for making twirls out of two dressmakers. So check your fit. Make your adjustments on a calico twirl. You don't have to do things like plackets, buttonholes, cuffs. You only have to put one sleeve. Don't bother with things like lapels. Just do the basics of the pattern in calico. Check your fit. Make any adjustments you need. And then when you cut into your beautiful Liberty fabric or your K fabric or whatever you're using, you'll get that perfect fit first time. Now, sewing needles. We all need sewing needles for our machines and our projects. We've got some individuals and we've also got a great bundle. Now then, this bundle is a bundle of Janome needles. Um, you're getting these three bundle, uh, three packs of needles in the bundle for £14.50. You're getting super stretch. So you're going to use those for sewing your jerseys and your stretch fabrics. Uh, you're getting your blue tipped. Um, this has a nice, really um, sharp piercing point. Um, so excellent multi-purpose needle. Um, good for difficult synthetic fabrics and also machine embroidery. Um, I'd also try those out for quilting too. And then you're also getting red tip needles. Uh, these have a larger iron groove to accommodate things like metallic threads and more fragile threads. So I would use these for things like holographic and metallic threads. Prevents shredding of your thread from the friction of going through your fabric. So great selection of needles there and perhaps slightly more unusual needles away from the standard universals. Um, Janome always recommends that you use Janome needles in machines, so that's a great time to buy those. Now we've got other needles, but have a look on the website for those. You can't have enough machine needles in your stash. Now then, let's have a quick recap of the 570A from Elna. We're down to seven sewing machines. Um, this is our stock uh, for Christmas. This is our stock that's left. Now we've seen it elsewhere for £699. You could pay 
100 pounds more if you really wanted to but you won't get split pay and you won't get 20 pounds credit put into your account 199 pounds and 66 pence on split pay it came back into stock a month ago or thereabouts and we're down to seven <laughs> we're down to seven so it's a really really popular machine um, it's not going to last till Christmas, so please don't hang on. Um, I don't want you to be disappointed. It's got a fantastic array of stitches, this one. 380 stitches. 380 stitches, including your alphabets and all those symbols. Um, brilliant stuff. You've got things like a free arm. You can drop your, pre your uh, feed dogs. You've got a great 170 millimetres of sewing space. You can do automatic reverse, start, stop, auto locking stitch, up, down, needle position. Terrific, terrific machine that. And you're getting an extension table and just because it's Tuesday, <laughs> you're getting £20 credit into your account as a little thank you from us, but only if you buy before midnight tonight. Now let's do a quick menu for tomorrow and see what's coming up. At 8am is Sewing Room Tools. At 9am we've got Swirls of Christmas Table Runner with Jules Mayoff. Uh, at 10 o'clock it's Christmas Fabric. Remember 74 sleeps till Christmas. It's time. 11am Embroidered and Quilted Cushions again with Jules Mayoff. And then at 12pm we head on over to Yarn Lane for Elf and Christmas Makes. I am so excited about tomorrow. I hope you're going to join me for the whole morning or part thereof, um, I don't expect you to get dressed. Stay in your gym jams, grab a cup of tea or coffee, sit back, relax and enjoy with me. It's only cold outside, but we'll have a lovely warm snug time tomorrow together. I will look forward to your company. Thank you for getting engaged with the show today. Thank you for all your messages and your pictures that you've sent in as well of your beautiful cats and uh, other pets, assorted pets, and the things that you're working on too. Enjoy the rest of your day sewing, making, crafting, doing whatever you do. Stay safe and we will be ready to welcome you back to Sewing Street tomorrow at 8 a.m. sharp. I will see you then. I'm so excited to 